Hey you guys, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. You already know who it is. It's your Oracle Yang Batty back at it again for another live stream reading. Thank you so much for pulling up around me. Pull up around me and drop them zodiac signs down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. We are about to get this lineup ready on um heavy on um ooh, who this is. It's OGB. You already know what time it is. Drop them zodiac signs down in the chat. Let me know you ready for the read. And also don't forget to follow me so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming so you don't miss the little um notification that TikTok sends you when I'm live streaming so you don't miss uh, being a part of uh, picking our lineup and everything like that. Shout out to the gang. Thank you so much for pulling up around me. All right. So welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in to all my beautiful people. Let's get into it. Oh, shoot. Pisces and Capricorn back to back early up in the game. So let's add you guys up in the building early on them, heavy on them. All right. So we have Pisces. <laughs> welcome in, you guys. Welcome in. Thank you so much for pulling up. Girl, all right, you guys. And if you are new here, my name is Oracle Gang Batty, aka Mala, up in the building. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming up on my live stream. Click into it, let us know your zodiac sign, let us know you're ready for the read. All right, you guys, and don't forget to follow me, okay? So, follow, follow, follow for that notification and for any other, other updates that you would like to see. I put all of the thank you so much for the roses. I put all of the uh, recorded readings here on tiktok on my other platforms as well so look at that i have all the information in my bio if you guys are looking for any other additional information that i have all right so welcoming you guys also i have those um love readings they are on sale still from now until valentine's day thank you sandra shout out to the gang for pulling up on me sandra was up in, up in the readings this morning and you know, shout out to my morning gang gang and my night gang gang <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in, you guys. Those uh, readings for the love readings are on sale. OracleGangBaddy.com is the only way to book with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to those uh, running up the shares and the likes. Right off rip. I know that's right. That, keep that same energy. Y'all always pull up around me heavy on them. All right, you guys. Also, I do have a surprise. I do have a surprise. If anybody who is part of my gang, look at your OG emojis. I just added OG emojis that are Valentine's Day inspired. So we got angel numbers down there that you could pull up on. We got all this good stuff. So shout out to the gang. Thank you so much <laughs> for being so patient for me to um, add those OG emojis. We got them up in the building, okay? So we have all these signs. We're missing two, okay? Our, I do have the lineup pretty much set up, but we're missing two. So let me see, let's see, let's see. We have Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio is not last, so at least we know that. All right, so we have Scorpio. So um, by default, let's see who is last, if that's the case. All right, so we have Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Taurus. We also have Scorpio. Okay, so I think we are missing Cancer. Cancer is going to be last. Wow, Cancers. I'm sorry, boo. Y'all last today. Y'all was kind of in the in the lineup earlier today on time. But tonight for these live streams, you came in late, boo. So we might do a little extra something for you. So stick around. Get comfortable, you guys. Get your snack. Get your drink. What you sipping on, what you drinking on or whatever. So we can get started with these live stream readings. This is my little mug today. If you guys haven't seen her, him. It's a him. <laughs> If you haven't seen Chip, Chip is my boo. I just got my little mug. He's a kitty. Chip is my new mug. I just got him from Marshalls. If y'all wondering, I don't gatekeep, so hit up Marshalls. They got the cutest little mugs. That's where I be getting all my mugs. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, so thank you so much for pulling up around me. OG Benda, top gifter in the chat. Welcome in, welcome in. For everybody who wants to know what my OG emojis are, they are a part of my subscription. So if you're a TikTok subscriber here, you get exclusive emojis that you can use. And I got new ones that are up and running right now. So let me show y'all because I'm pretty proud of it. I created them myself. All right, so this is what we have here for my OG emojis. You can use them in the chat stream um, if you are a TikTok subscriber. You gotta be subscribed to my TikTok. It's a whole vibe. So pull up around me. I got the pull up around me on the hearts. I got the zomp zoot. <laughs> I got the love you OGB. <laughs> all right. So yeah, I got all that. So I see all my OGs down in the chat stream using those OG emojis. Thank you so much. I just finished them and I just uploaded them. So I'm so excited. I am going to upload more. Um, I didn't. I just didn't, didn't get a chance to design them. So. It's okay. It's okay. It's only two ninety nine a month, and you guys can cancel and resubscribe your subscriptions whenever you want. It's very, very fluid, fluid over here. No pressure. No pressure. All right. So, um, 
when you guys got the funds, you can use them, and when you don't, you can cancel it. So it's that simple. All right, you guys, welcome in, welcome in to Oracle Gang Baddie up in the building. If you are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Gang Baddie. I do these live streams on a daily. I do the love, and I also do the career. Thank you so much, CDs, Browning, everybody, everybody, everybody. We just started. We just pulled up on the live stream, so I haven't started just yet. So don't worry, you're not late. You're right on time. I literally just started the live stream like a minute ago. So this is the order for the newbies coming into the live stream for my OGs. Thank you for coming back. Also, keep them newbies up in here updated because I can't answer to everybody's questions. However, um, so if somebody's question, this is the order we're going in. We go through columns. All right. So we have Aquarius and then this whole column. We have Gemini, their whole column after that. And then after that is Scorpio and Cancer. So, so Scorpio and Cancer are the last Beatties and Beatties up in the building. It's okay. We're going to do a little something extra extra for y'all if y'all stick around. All right, you guys. So... Definitely pull up around me. Welcome in, welcome in. <sighs> Happy birthday, Aquarius. <laughs> Happy birthday to my Aquarius babies and Sandies up in the building. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Bad contents. Be in first place. Oh, shout out to the gang. All right, you guys. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much. I'm collecting 35 of those heart, those heart emoji things. So um, if you want to gift those heart, I'm collecting 35 today that's my little gift goal for today if you guys are wondering also thank you so much for the subscribes you guys when you do subscribe you get a gang badge thank you Aunt alondra and brie when you when you subscribe you get a gang badge next to your name and then you also get added to this oracle deck i created you get um a free 10 minute personal reading on saturdays if you are a winner we're about to pull the winners today all right we're pulling two cards for the winners today all right you guys who win today and even my winners from earlier today pull up around me this Saturday at noon. That's when we'll be live streaming the 10-minute personal readings. The personal readings could be on anything. It has to just be on one subject or one question. And then we tap in. All right. So you guys definitely subscribe. You have to be a TikTok subscriber on the bottom left of the screen. As I'm saying that, I see 111. Shout out to the gang, 111. How do you become a winner? I got to shuffle the deck. So we're about to shuffle up and we're about to see who comes out. So this is for the winners for this Saturday. Our last Saturday live stream was lit. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of messages. Everybody was on point. So um, it was really, really good. So definitely don't miss out. It's a private live stream with just my uh, subscribers. So only the subscribers can view it. We have a card that fell on the floor. Give me one second. Wow. So these are my, um, I think these are a few of my new subscribers on this card. This is Jules, Joanna Elise, Nessie Gonzalez, and Angeli G. You are the winners for this Saturday, this Saturday noon, for the live stream, 10 minute personal readings on any topic you want or any question you want for 10 minutes. We deep dive, we give you all the all the juice, all the tea, and then we keep it pushing. All right, till next week. All right, so this is my winners. All right, for Saturday, we're, we're pulling one more card. All right, you guys, we're pulling one more card. And don't worry, I'll take a picture of all the winners this week and post it on Friday so everybody knows um, who's pulling up on Saturday. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so we also have another one. Oh, we have Jamina, Laura Marie, Wellbells, and Jen Ann 1973. All right, so these are my winners for today. I'm doing this again tomorrow and Thursday. So there's going to be two more cards of winners. There's 25 winners each week, and we always pull up to the Saturday reads. I never cancel those because y'all be paying for this. So we don't be canceling unless it's something serious. So all of the winners are going to be Jamina, Laura, uh, well Bells Jen Ann 1973, Amber J. Cool, Desiree Elrod, Lizzie, Jessica Rivera 78, Simply Mocha, Drea, Heather Freeze, and Lisa Shulman 328. And we also have Jules, um, Joanna Elise, Nessie Gonzalez, and Angeli G up in the building. So we already have 16 winners so far. Yeah, I was like, did I do that math right? I did. <laughs> we already have 16 winners so far, and we're about to get uh, 16 more, okay, you guys? So don't worry. Um, there's other chances to win throughout the week, so don't don't worry, all right? If you would like to be added to this Oracle deck, um, I do add cards to this Oracle deck as I have more subscribers. So definitely subscribe on the bottom left of the screen. You're going to see a star, and those are going to be my winners, okay? Shout out to the gang for pulling up around me. 
All right, so you get a gang badge next to your name. You get to be added to that pool of winners for Saturdays. And you also get those OG emojis, those custom stickers that you can use in the chat that I created with my partners that we be up in here. We be vibing. All right, so let's shout out to Aquarius Gang Gang in the building. We're about to start your reading, my loves. I got to light my um my sage as I'm doing this, you guys. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below for my Aquarius babies and Danny. Are you ready for the read? We're about to get up on it, all right? If you guys are wondering if I had those love readings, I do have those love readings on um, special right now, okay? So the love readings, 30-minute love reading if you book with me. You can book with me at oraclegangbandy.com. They're on sale. It is going to be $50 for a 30-minute love reading. I repeat, $50 for a 30-minute love reading. So if you would like one, definitely pull up around me and definitely make sure that you are um, making your final purchases before Valentine's Day because that deal is only available from now until Valentine's Day. So y'all have a few more days to book with me. After Valentine's Day, that $50 uh, price will go up, back up to $70, okay? Because that's how much it is for my 30-minute uh, So y'all definitely have um, a good special there available to you for a limited time. And after that, it goes, it goes bye-bye. We're about to do a special maybe again in the future. All right, sir. That's all I got for you. All right, so let's see. What do we have for my gang? We're going to um, light this frankincense. Give me one second. I'm about to put this frankincense so we can get and catch a vibe for the gang. All right. Thank you so much. Shout out to the gang. <laughs> Let me know y'all ready for the read. Thank you, Source Creator, Ancestors, Angels, for everything that you do for me in the collective on the daily. All the love, the substance, the abundance, the peace, the harmony, the grace, the balance, the protection. For I am nothing without him, everything with you. At this time, I ask that you cleanse my space, my mind, body, soul, and spirit of any low vibrational energies or entities that do not belong here. They are commanded to leave by my heart forces of love and light. Ashe. Out. Only that of love and light is allowed in this space. Anything low vibrational is commanded to leave. Ashe. And so it is. Thank you, Source Creator, for all that you do for me in the collective on a daily, for I am nothing without it. I am everything with you. So glory be to the Most High forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Source. All right, so we are cleansed. We are ready to go. Anyway, stay in their time today. The, the readings might go a little bit faster because <laughs> I'm hyped. She, she ready. I see my Aquariuses are ready too, so let's get it. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to my Aquarius babies and ladies up in the building. I'm going to leave Chip over here in the corner. Because, you know, Chip's always nosy. He was talking about that earlier today. <laughs> if y'all watch Beauty and the Beast, that little Chip, that little teacup, he was so nosy. He was like, there's a girl in the house. She was like, all right, Chip, go to bed. <laughs> Chip is ready for the tea, okay? He spilled the tea earlier today. I had him spill all his tea all over my desk. I said, no, uh I literally spilled him over. I was like, we're doing too much. I almost, like, cut the live stream and went to bed. Because it was kind of like OD. But anyways, here we go. What do we have for my crazy babies and babies when it comes to love and romance? The relationships closest to them. What do we have for my Ari um, my Aquarius? I almost called y'all Aries. Are y'all dealing with Aries? Possibly. All right, Aquarius, babies and babies. What do we have for my Aquariuses when it comes to love and romance? Shout out to Aquarius. Happy birthday to all my Aquarius, babies and babies. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Ooh, what do we have for my Aquariuses? <laughs> Lexi, I love you too. <laughs> What do we have for my Aquariuses? You dealing with Ryan right now? Oh, Chrissy. I must have been talking to you. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. K Barbie. K Barbie too? Mm -mm. Not me being on point before we pull the cards. <laughs> we have let go of control issues. It looks like Aquarius, you're letting, you've already let go of something emotionally or physically. So I don't feel like you're dealing with this anymore. Let go of control issues is in the reverse. So usually it says allow this situation to unfold naturally. It looks like you're going with the flow with your life, which is really, really good. So I really, really think that um, you're kind of in a good space right now if you are an Aquarius who's in a relationship or even single. All right. The bottom of the deck is playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And we also have separation. Yeah, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, for some of y'all, y'all let go of a situationship, um, a circumstance or a situationship in your relationships to others. This could be romantic or this could be platonic, a friend, a family member, etc. But I do see this here. I see that somebody was playing too many games. I don't want to play no. Oh, bet. You don't want to play no games? Okay, you're cut out of my life. Because you, you was trying to play games. And so Aquarius, for some of y'all, y'all caught this person. For others of you, this is why you're single. Okay, so if you're newly single, this is what I'm talking about. This is the separation. This is the playfulness. This is the immaturity. This is the things being revealed that were going on underneath your nose, behind your back. 
All right, so um, anything swept underneath the rug was brought to reveal last month. I do feel like this month is a lot better for you. For those of you who are in a relationship, for my Aquarius is in a relationship, I do feel like you let go of like the fixation on if the relationship was going to work out. And now you're just kind of going with the flow. For for my for my Aquariuses that are in a relationship that they like, I do feel like what's happening is that you guys are emotionally a little bit separated from the connection just a little or from each other. I do get the chemistry could be like kind of off, but it's only because you're trying to go with the flow. You're trying to be more playful. You're trying to be more youthful. You're trying to be more exciting. Um, for some of y'all, you know what I just heard? I just heard either it's, it's going to be a small group of you, but I don't know who's single or in a relationship or dealing with somebody casual or committed. But it's for some of y'all, y'all into role playing or something like that. Like Spirit just said, like, yeah, because they be role playing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not saying that on the live stream. They said, say it. <laughs> So I don't know who that's for, but anyways, that was a lot of juice, a lot of tea. We got to pull back, we got to roll back from that information. I'm not trying to put you on blast out there, but um, there is this information where I do feel like separation or some time apart is going to get you guys to be more playful with each other. Maybe some role play, maybe some exciting nights, something like that. For others of you who are separated emotionally or physically from your person, you're not trying to make things exciting. You just really have some real ish going on in your relationship. I do feel like you guys are going to be going at a distance even further. I don't think you guys are going to get back together any soon emotionally or physically okay i think you guys need more time apart or more space somebody needs more time to think here with this honeymoon card it's telling me that you guys are trying to enjoy the holiday time together with the valentine's day coming up or people's birthdays coming up your birthday coming up etc but i feel like somebody's not into it somebody's off here okay somebody's not feeling it in a relationship so i do feel like someone's emotionally distant um someone is probably thinking of ending the connection or wanting to go their separate way indefinitely but it's gonna it's gonna require more communication i feel like there's no communication at this time about it but it's like you know what i mean two people saying something that's not said out loud but they know that they got to talk about it is giving that energy okay so that's what i'm seeing here so it's kind of weird energy um for others of you, this thing is completely done to done done with the sun done. Okay, you guys are definitely single here. What I do see is that you're going to be enjoying your birthday and you do deserve love elsewhere. And you're realizing that because underneath the honeymoon card, which is like my birthday day card for my crazy ladies and cities, you guys are enjoying your birthday season. Even if it's past your birthday, you're just enjoying your season, enjoying your month. So I do feel like you're going to be more excited to meet other people, to mingle, to be around new people, to make new friends or just to go out with your friends more. For some of you, you're in hermit mode. You not in the in the energy of going out but for others of you you're being dragged out by your parent by your parents <laughs> some of y'all y'all got cool parents that's dragging you out of the house but um you're being dragged out by your friends okay to have a really good time so i do see that here um for some of you it's your parents going in separation you're witnessing your parents going in separation after they've been together for so long for some of your parents you've been you've seen your parents been together for 15 years 30 years or 20 years long or something like that and they're going their separate ways or they're moving out or they're having a some type of debacle or situation in their marriage or their uh relationship whether they're married or not it's just the, the committedness of their connection is going in emotional separation or physical separation for some of you guys you guys are parents to some children okay so if you're a parent to a child or children and you share this parenting with somebody else whether you guys live underneath the same household or you're separated there is this energy where i do feel like you guys are kind of looking for love elsewhere you're not looking to get back with your person that you created these kids with you know what i'm saying so i do feel like there there is some positivity in that because i don't feel like your person is ready for uh ready for a relationship with you although they may be ready to be um in a relationship with their children it's just not the same with you okay the what's going to happen i'm gonna tell you exactly what's going to happen in Aquarius is y'all going to move on and your person's going to want you back see because i see this here and i see it followed by playfulness so somebody's going to try to play games once they see you moving on officially whether you have kids whether you don't whether you're single or in a relationship as soon as you start moving on this person who separated from you they're going to come back with some games or some mind games or some like oh I, I really I really didn't know how um, this was gonna pan out and da 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 da, um, you know I've learned from my mistakes or I've learned that I really can't live without you or I, you know it's gonna be something I don't know if you're gonna give them time of day have one 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 night stand with them or do something but spirit is saying you do deserve love elsewhere okay you do deserve love elsewhere if you focus on elsewhere you'll gain your soulmate okay if you focus on elsewhere you'll get your soulmate but if you focus on the past or someone who you're trying to work it out with. Um, that you know it's not working at this time maybe in the near future it could work out you guys could circle back but not right now now it's not the right time spirit said 2024 equals eight okay we trying to eat it up this year we're not trying to go back to the past we don't want to blast from the past period 
For some of y'all, y'all not ready for that. Let me turn off my heater because it's getting hot in my room. Hold on one second. All right, let's get back to the read. Okay, so let's just see what's going on for those of you who are separated from somebody. And for those of you who are looking for love, let's see what's going on with that. All right, sir. This is for my crazy babies and sadies up in the building. For my crazy babies and sadies up in the building. What do we have for my crazes that are no longer in connection with somebody? What's the separation about? What is this separation? Can we clarify this? Please and thank you, Spirit Ashe. Ew, shout out to the gang. Thank you so much for the likes and the shares. We got 19k likes and 27 shares. I know that's right. Ooh. Thank you so much for the hearts, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. What do we have here? What do we have here for the separation part, separation portion of those Aquariuses separated from somebody? Hold on one second. Sorry, you guys. I have to um I have to listen to lo-fi lo music in order to do readings or I go crazy just hearing my own voice. I don't really like my own voice. So sorry, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, that's a me thing. That's not a you thing. All right, so I see overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. The stress from this is draining me. Yeah, for some of y'all, y'all feel drained. Y'all feel depleted from your energy. <laughs> Trying to take me on my energy. That's all I hear is the Drake line. No, for real, but that bar is everything right now. I do feel like um, you were chasing somebody who was in a third-party situation or had a third-party situation, and that's why you let go. So let go is in the reverse. You got you guys already let go of this. For some of you guys, you just let go on the fixation of having to know what this person had in their phone and their devices. You're just like, I don't even care no more. So some of y'all, y'all still in the relationship and you don't even care. But it's like, why are you in the relationship if you don't care? You know what I'm saying? So it's about time to get out. Um, for some of you guys, you, you live with this person. It's time to move out. Pack your bags, put it in storage. Stay at a friend's house or something like that. You know, save up your coin to get your own crib or to get into a roommate situation with somebody or go back to your parents' crib for a temporary. You're going to have to work it out because, like, it's not a healthy situation. I see this here being, like, a, a chaser, runner-chaser dynamic, okay? For some of you guys, this is past. I'm telling you about the past, something you've already went through. This is why you're single. For others of you, you're going through this right now. Um, there was other things that got in the way of us being together. For some of for some of you guys, this is person is ego it's not like literally like a romantic partner although it could be but for some of you guys it's this person's ego that got in the way mm -hmm. oh i had to get some tea all right so then we have um absence i feel like a part of me is missing without you mm -hmm. see i told you somebody's gonna feel absent without you you may feel absent without them right now you may feel like this is the worst thing that's happened you're like why is this happening i don't understand why the separation is happening but i'm gonna tell you what Remember how I told you that thing? As soon as you start going into a new direction and you find your soulmate energy, remember how I pulled up these cards? You're going to have a soulmate or you already ran into your soulmate. Don't be surprised if your ex comes running back. I promise you. That's how you That's how you know that you found your soulmate. When your ex start coming back, that's how you know. You found your soulmate or you found somebody who's really compatible with you that you should stay with. That's the test to see if you go back to the past. Nobody wants to blast from the past, especially if we didn't ask for it. You're like, Spirit, why are you bringing this back? Because they want you to know. That's kind of like your angel sign or your angel like number, but like in a person form. Like as soon as you get like some old energy coming back to you, you know you've met the person that you're supposed to be with. I'm trying to move on. This person is trying to move on or that they're thinking about you still or you're thinking about them. Y'all are both trying to move on. But what the thing is, is that this person messed up so indefinitely that like it's going to put you back in a chaser dynamic if you take them back. It's not time for y'all to be together. And I don't know when it will be because this person needs a lot of healing, clearly. Um, but yeah, this energy was draining you. So I do feel like um, I do feel like thank you for the heart me. I do feel like in the way of like you guys healing and your healing process, I do feel like you need to remove yourself from the situation and this person love them from a distance or keep them from, you know, like create a healthy boundary here because if not you're just gonna feel drained you're gonna feel ener like your energy is being energy vamped okay this person is like an energy vampire they drain you they make you tired um you're over it they always have something it always makes you anxious it always makes you look at their phone or make you feel like on you're on you're on edge nobody likes to feel like that in a relationship as i'm saying that i see 444 which means you're protected and in going into a new direction to your soulmate and you're being guided to this okay so i do see 444 going into it with love and relationships so after you separate emotionally and physically and heal and start the healing process to that you're going to see a lot of do or doors open up with other people or other uh, people who are interested with you you might not be interested with them i'm going to be honest with you aquarius you're not, you're not going to be interested with them right away but as time goes on you're going to heal from a lot of this overwhelm and stress and this trust issues and you're going to be actually in a peaceful mode you're going to be detached i had to let this go so i can center my mind this is how you're going to feel about your heart and your mind so anybody from the that's a blast from the past and that, if they come back they're not going to have a chance 
because that's how you set it up. So you are move, you're all, you are open to love and you are moving in the new direction of love. However, you're not going to take the old people back. And that I think that's the best thing for you, especially in 2024, because it talks about new connections and leaving the past in the past, leaving those people who have to heal go do their healing without you because they're going to try and use you as a crutch in order to heal and it's not your job to heal nobody you feel me so there is this energy here so that's what i'm getting for my crazy babies and sadies let's move on let's get some information for the new lover i want to see who the new lover is i want to see who this soulmate this you deserve love who does he is all right because for some of you guys are single and you're looking for somebody in love and relationships okay so i want to see who this new person is who's going to sweep you off your feet when you're ready to be in love again all right, so let's say, let's say, uh, am I reading you? <laughs> Radiant Beauty said, whoa, you're reading me, you reading me. I'm screaming. We are on Aquarius right now. We just started like five minutes ago, maybe 10. Yeah, so this person comes after an ending. Obviously, your separation here. We already spoke about this. We spoke about the distance. They come around after an ending. They're not a person with ego or pride. You've left a person with ego or pride and you left that uh, karmic cycle of running into the same type of people. Ego, pride, third party situations. You always have to chase them emotionally or physically down to be in a relationship. You're not running into this person again, okay? So we have the official person in the reverse. Um, you could have dated somebody who wore a uniform as work or for work. But if this isn't a uniform that they wore for work, this is somebody who you dated in the past who had ego, stubborn, pride. They had all these different things that were low vibrational that made them feel like they're that it girl or it guy in your life, but they weren't, okay? Um, that was them trying to compensate or overcompensate for the lack that they had in order to uh, be in a committed relationship or to give and receive love properly in a healthy connection. That was them trying to overvalidate themselves for no reason or seek validation outside of themselves. You know what I'm saying? So you dated people like that or that you've been in cycles of dating people like that. OK, that karmic cycle is over with that coffin card. You're ending this and you're going on to um, moving forward to new beginnings. I have the child card here. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys can have kids with this person. Um, you could feel overwhelmed and stressed how your babies are going to do. Your babies are going to be fine. OK, what I do see is that you're going to have to show a lot of love and attention to them and not get frustrated with them because they're going through um a separation too not only you okay so you might have to add extra love and attention and explain certain things to them if they're babies if they're young if they're toddlers if they're little little um preteens you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day they're going to be all right because you got to explain to them there's always love okay and love is love love is not perfect love is love you know what i'm saying so it's unconditional love for some of you guys who aren't parents i do feel as though this is your new beginning and this is your inner child healing okay so you feeling as though um you couldn't end a relationship because you you had to stay in a, in a connection because you felt like it was the best thing that was for you or it was the person no i want the person so bad and spirits like walk away and you're like no but i want the person so bad they have this this and this and i like them because of this this and this even though they have this this and that to work on and they have to heal spirit is saying we have something better for you okay and the reason why you wanted to stay there is because your inner child was asking oh um you know but, but what if what if I get abandoned it's like a fear of abandonment so I don't know if you've been abandoned literally as a child or you have a fear of of someone saying no or rejecting you but that that's what that stems from so as an adult we carry that and then we realize that we act like that in in, in connections and relationships with others whether it's a best friend a romantic partner a a, a, a friendship with a group of people we, we always want to feel accepted so we have to let go of that okay and so that's part of the healing work that you're doing so the, a lot of this energy is going to be creating a new beginning for you this is why you deserve love and you get a whole soulmate because of that because your soulmate is the new beginning your soulmate has already went through this your soulmate is going to understand on a deeper level what you had to walk away from and why they're they're your person and why you're their person so i do see that here you're going to make a judgment call on your life this person is definitely going to um this new soulmate, you definitely might have like two people, like I said, a judgment call in your life. As you meet the new soulmate, there's somebody else here, male or female, it doesn't matter who's here at the bottom. I just read the energies on the card. This is you, Aquarius, making a decision on two people or to go two ways. Maybe you have two roads to go. Should I move out? Should I stay? Should I leave? Should I stay? Um, if it's not that energy, then it's definitely like there's two options. Uh, there's a past person and a new person coming in uh, for a new beginning here, okay? 
So I do feel like you're going to choose the new pathway. We have the new path card here, all right, with the uh, 35 breaking down to an 8. 2024 equals 8. So that's definitely that energy. Very, very, very beautiful energy, okay? So you don't have to be concerned about anything. I think you're concerned about your, pa your path because we have message of concern. For some of you guys, when you choose this new path, you're going to get your ex asking you questions back, okay? Um, also, I do feel like you're in alignment to receive the person at the end of the path. You're going to be concerned about going down this new beginning, but this is exactly where you meet your soulmate or you meet your person who has your who has who has the same energetic vibrational match as you they're not a person who plays games they're not they're just they're just not and i love it i love this energy for you so let's get the timing cards let's see when aquarius will be possibly meeting this new person um for some of you guys you've already met somebody um you already met your person and the thing is you're having like a hard time letting go of past of your relationship in the past for some of you guys you're struggling to let go emotionally or physically about a person in the past that you used to love that hurt you deeply so you're gonna have to let that go spirit is saying create a new beginning within yourself detach yourself from these things and clear your mind because if not you're going to self-sabotage the new connection that you have for some of you guys your person is there for you but you're going to ruin them just like your past person kind of like ended up air quotes ruining you right so it's not that it's ruined or that you get ruined it's just that the less Lessons that you're learning are valuable in order for you to apply them to the new relationships especially when people are loving on you correctly for some of you guys you just don't know how to be loved properly so you're used to toxico toxica energy you're used to like the chaos okay in a relationship you're not used to like quietness in a relationship and beauty and love and receiving and giving love properly in a healthy relationship you're used to like the toxic traits of it and you're almost addicted to that so spirit is saying let's 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 lose the addiction okay we got to go to aa for this okay i i <laughs> all right so there is a problem with that and for some of you guys you're in a really great connection and you just don't know how to receive love properly all right so spirit is saying let go of that because if you don't um, let go of that emotional baggage from the past in a new connection you will push the other person away okay and it's just by default because would you even stay in something like that you probably wouldn't if she was on the other foot so get it together that's what spirit said when you least expect it you're going to meet the new soulmate that's what spirit is saying in may so i would give it five more months may june type energy is here when you least expect it for those of you who are single who want to who want to get into a relationship um what's going to come in it's going to come in rushing in okay it's almost like april showers bring may flowers so i would say april may june it'll be around that time where you meet somebody and you solidify a new connection if you want a connection for some of you guys who are already in a relationship i do feel like you're going to let go of a lot of emotional baggage in and around springtime in may it's just going to make you feel good um to let that go so i would i would get like april may june energy and just keep it up in the air when you least expect it please don't get fixated on um on outcomes because spirit doesn't want that for you they don't want you to get fixated on outcomes i can give you a general outcome but the more fixated that you are on it the further away it gets so you have to understand the law of attraction the more you think about something the more you ask for something it, it, it's almost like and you only wait for it you don't even take action to change your life or to get better at, at life like you you just uh push it away you push these uh these blessings even further out so a lot of you are going to be like well it didn't happen for me ogb in may april may june well the reason is is because you might be still holding on to something and spirit is waiting for you to heal that so you don't bring it into a new connection this is what i'm saying all right you guys so know how to read these know how to get read and know how to um play with the law of attraction know how to attract things to you instead of chasing them or being fixated on the outcome so this is going to be your reading my loves i'm going to roll a dice I'm going to roll the dice for my <laughs> Aquarius babies and Zaddies. <laughs> Happy birthday to my Aquarius babies and Zaddies. Baby number two will be coming in June. Congratulations, Adelaide. Yeah, that's so cute. I love babies. Mm, they're so cute. My nephew's coming soon. He about to be a Pisces. He about to be a Pisces. <laughs> he about to be a water sign. <laughs> Anyways, so what do we have for my Aquarius babies and Zaddies when it comes to relationships closest to them? What's their angel number? You guys, I have those angel numbers in my uh, OG emojis for my TikTok subscribers. <laughs> you want to put them down when we pick a number. What's the angel number for Aquarius? Oh, wow. You got angel number 12. I didn't make that one, but I should. We have angel number 12. So we got angel number 1111 and 222. That's telling me that you're going to come into union with somebody. So I feel like once you heal mind, body, soul, you have everything in alignment or you don't have to be fully healed. But like once you start working on yourself and you're not worried about anything else, that's when love comes in for a lot of you guys. And I do get um, within the next 12 weeks would be I would say it would be around May. 
that were already in April, May energy. So I do feel like that's perfect timing for you guys to attract somebody if you're looking for love for my Aquarius babies and Zadies who are single who want love. For those of you who don't want love, I feel like you're just going to be more healed and open for love in and around that time. Okay, so I do feel like you may not feel like you're ready for love right now, but eventually you will be in the next 12 weeks. Okay, so I do see that here. I also see a number three. For some of you guys who were born specifically on the third and the 12th day of your birthday. Okay, so take that how it resonates. You guys could have been seeing 12, 12 on the clock or 333. I also get 111 and 222. So you do have new beginnings and love coming towards you. You just have to choose it back. Um, for some of you guys, you could be um, uh, attracting a cancer or someone with cancer in their chart. It could be in their sun sign, moon, rising, or Venus placement. It doesn't have to be just the sun sign cancer. It could just be compatible with you somewhere in their zodiac chart. It's compatible with your zodiac chart. All right, so they could have cancer in their chart. That's why they know how to love properly, okay? And healthy in a connection. They could also have Scorpio in the chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement for a lot of my Aquariuses that could resonate with you in the near future. And then we also get Taurus. So they could be a water sign or an, or an earth sign, specifically Taurus, Scorpio, or Cancer. But if it's not Scorpio, Taurus, or Cancer, they just have a lot of water or earth in their chart that's very compatible with yours Aquarius so their placements are going to be specific to you and you're going to be able to share each other's charts and realize like oh I get what OGB was talking about you feel me so there is that energy here and that is going to be your reading for my Aquarius babies and Zadies up in the building for those who enjoyed this definitely give this uh channel a follow okay here on TikTok and make sure you run it up run it up run it up with those shares and those likes we also have three out of 35 of those hearts so definitely run up those shares run up those follows run up those likes and gifts you guys Guys, and thank you so much for pulling up around with me. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. This is going to be reposted to the YouTube. So make sure that you are subscribed over there at Oracle Gang Baddie. It's the same way it's spelled here. It's the same way it's spelled over there. So you will never miss a read. All right. So let's tap into Libra Gang Gang in the building. My nails are so cute. Y'all want some nail cam? Y'all want some nail cam? Ew. Thank you or whatever. <laughs> I was going for like the Queen of Hearts look. You know what I'm saying? Like the card deck. That has the queen of hearts that's red with the red hearts on it. Mm hmm That's what I was going for. <laughs> Off with the heads. <laughs> I was also going for that Alice in Wonderland queen of hearts. But she was kind of ignorant. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap. She was kind of scary. <laughs> Thank you so much, JJ88, for the heart puff. Those heart puffs are so cute. I should have asked for those today. I should have asked for like 100 of those. <laughs> All right. So let's get into Libra. Libra gang gang in the building. Shout out to the gang. Who's ready for my for my reading for Libras? Comment below down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. Drop your zodiac signs. Drop those scale emojis down in the chat. Drop it, drop it, drop it like it's hot. All right, so let's get into it, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> let's get into it, you guys. Thank you so much for pulling up. We're going to get into the messages right now for my Libras. All right, so here we go. Here we go. What do we have for my Libras? What's the storyline that needs to be heard the most here out of all the Libras in the collective? Who needs to hear the message? Please and thank you, Spirit. Allow this to resonate with as many people as possible. And if it doesn't resonate, allow them to please subscribe to my YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I was just kidding about that second part. All right, here we go. What do we have for my Libras? What do we have for my Libras? Thank you, ZLC. Thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you. Oh, we got you coming out in your own spread. This is either you or somebody else. I'm going to look at it as you and I'm going to read it as you to begin with. Thank you for the heart. Yeah. Shout out to Norma. Thank you so much for the heart puffs. Um, we have main male, main female. This is basically you, Libra. Oracle game, Beauty and Zitty. This is a representation of main character energy. This is Libra right here. All right, so we have Libra. And what about you? You're trying to make a decision, courthouse situation. I don't know if you have legalities. You might have legalities about somebody who you feel as though is more mature than you in age or more emotionally mature. I don't know if this person is six years older than you or six years younger than you, but just mature. But this is speaking of maturity level in age or in emotional value, okay? So they could be emotionally mature or they could be in age. But somebody here is one year younger or older than somebody or six years uh, younger or older or maybe in between that. There's like an age gap here, okay? There's a main person and then there's somebody who's older. I don't know what this is talking about, but we're going to gonna dive in. All right, so I do see here that you're going to be making a decision soon. Oh, for some of you guys, wow, we have the marriage card. Okay, so I see what's happening here. For some of you guys, for my Libra gang, babies and Zadies, we have uh, Libra here. Libra, you are being approached by a person 
who you are kind of unsure about if you should get with this person. This person is actually going to be a really great committed connection, but you are questioning it. For some of you Libras who are single, this is going to be you because you're in a situation where you're like being approached by somebody and you are emotionally mature. I actually flipped the script. You, This is you, emotionally mature, and this is the person approaching you, a main character in your life right now that has their eye on you or you have your eye on because they, they caught your eye or because they have your attention right now. Whoever this is, is willing to offer you a solid commitment, but it's like you have yet to make a decision on this. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a divorce, so you don't want to get into a relationship right away until the divorce is finalized. For others of you, this person is uh going through a divorce so you're like i don't even know if this is a good situation i'm waiting for things to be finalized for others of you if it has nothing to do with divorce this has to do with your decision making process like you're should i go this or that should i do go here or there when it comes to this connection should i uh take things slow or should i rush into it or is it going too fast or you know what i mean you're you're kind of in your head mm -hmm. you're weighing the pros and cons or the decision making in your mind yeah you're focused on your career that's why you're like this or that because you're realizing that like every time you try to get in a connection it really steered you off of your your course when it comes to career and finances because you were always just always distracted elsewhere so maybe you feel as though the past is going to repeat itself because you're like well every time i focus on work a relationship comes in and then i put more energy into that relationship than my own career values my own career finances and my relationship to money starts to dwindle because i'm too focused on love but the thing is, is that you're so focused on career right now that this is why love came in. It's like love comes in every time you're not focused on love because spirit is trying to teach you something about how love comes in. And for some of you guys, you guys were disappointed with this kind of love connection or these relationships in the past. But um, spirit is not trying to bring you somebody toxic, okay? Not in this energy for those who it resonates with. Now, for others of you, you could be going through... Um, for, you, know what, you know what crazy thing I want to say? For some of you guys, you're about to elope. For some of you guys, you met the person and y'all only knew each other for like one to six months. <laughs> this is wild. Y'all are wild. <laughs> or one to six months where it's like 90 day fiance situation and <laughs> y'all are wilding. Oh my God. Y'all are about to, for somebody, it's going to be like one or two people. Like they already, they already thought about eloping. Or this is a pact that you made with yourself. You're like, the next person I meet, I'm just going to elope because I just want to be married. Or you're actually doing this, okay? For some of you, you're doing this. For some of you, you already did this. For others of you, you're thinking about doing this because you're like, I don't need to spend money on all this stuff. I'm going to just go to Vegas, get married, or I'm just going to go to Hawaii and get like, you know, spiritually like, you know what I mean? Blessed and, and be out and just enjoy my life. Like, I'm done with these people. I'm done with dealing with other people. And having to get things approved and having to get things, everybody in my business. For some of you guys, you deal with family members who's always in your business as far as relationships. You're over it. Mm -hmm. So I see some of that here. It's not going to be for all Libras. That was actually really specific with the elope thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised in the next one to six months that a person that you met that looks at you as like they put you on a pedestal and they do things for you and they want to work really hard for you in the connection and the relationship. They help you out in certain ways. They do want to uh, get married to you, whether it's an elope or not. This person definitely wants to give their cup of love to you as far as like a solid, committed relationship. OK, I also see here with the decision making process for some of you guys, you're making the decision to um, for you know what I heard for some of you, you never wanted to be married before. But this person you meet or who meets you, however you guys meet, you guys are really thinking about this. You're really thinking about this, but you want to focus on your career more or this other person wants to focus on their career more in order to make this happen. Somebody's working really hard to eventually propose to somebody. So for my Libras who are with somebody who already have somebody, your person is really trying to uh, save up money or work really, really hard to propose because they want to get that ring that you want. They want to do this thing or whatever, like it's a ring or a band, however you guys um, see it fit. Like, this is definitely that energy. Like, you guys are about to be in a commitment. For a lot of my Libras, you don't know. But for my singles or those in a relationship, you have the next level of commitment here. Or you have um, somebody uh, approaching you with, like, a serious commitment. Like, I'm telling you, they are serious about you. They love you. So I don't know what you did to this person. what you do? <laughs> you laid it down. Did you lay it down? <laughs> you did something. Ew. 
Anyways, this is your message so far. Let's see if the message changes or if there's any more information that comes out for the ones that are on the spread. This seems very specific for some for some of my Libras. For some of y'all, y'all gonna get married in spirit. <laughs> y'all gonna get married in spirit. <laughs> You're not gonna tell nobody about being married. You're just gonna get married. You're gonna do it on your own, away from everybody. Like maybe only your parents know. And that's it. <laughs> And you're going to pull up to the family function and everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, you're married? And you're like, yeah. And you're like, where was the announcement? Where's the wedding invitation? Ah, oh, we just did it. We, we're not doing all that. I just told my parents and, and you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you guys are funny about it. Past life relationship. Yeah, so this isn't somebody who you're dealing with in the past or not somebody who um, you have bad past history with. Okay, because I'm getting that for some of you guys. You're thinking about, oh, is this a past person coming back? It's not. Um, it could be per a person that you have... Um, some good positive history with but not a past person with negative history it's not a karmic relationship if you're thinking about it being a karmic relationship past life relationship is in the reverse so I do feel like whoever's approaching you or whoever you're approaching when it comes to this uh, solid commitment or making a decision like you're in limbo about this commitment but it looks like you're going to have it um, I do I do feel like it's not karmic so if you're thinking it's a karmic cycle it's not um, you guys do have a lot of chemistry here oh we have, um, there's a strong magnetic connection here. I do feel like somebody is very into you, but they could be focused on their finances and career. Like I said, I told you with this occupation card, it's giving that this person is working really hard. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Either you're working really hard or this person's working really hard. They really want a, a solid commitment or some type of love offer to give you that's fair, um, that caters to you. Like I said, this person is really is really into you or you're really into them and you guys are really trying to make something work out. I know that's right. That's how you pull up for real. Okay. I mean, don't work yourself to the ground through the brave, but I'm just saying like, come correct or don't come in out. You know what I'm saying? So there is this positive energy here. I want to grab my other Oracle deck real quick. My cosmic insights. I was going to get into this other one, but we're going to leave this one here. All right. So let's get into the other one. Let's say, what do we have for my Libra ladies, ladies and ladies up in the building? Thank you so much for the rose that was sent. TK up in the building. Thank you. Just staying out for the likes. Hi, Allie. Welcome in. Welcome in, Natasha. Welcome in. The real her. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the 44K likes and the 54 shares, you guys. I appreciate you. Damn, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, so let's see. What do we have for my Libras? What do we have for my Libras? Tuesday has been weird today on the live streams, but also just in life. Um, we have intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing. Ooh, somebody has emotional uh, intimacy with you or physical intimacy with you. You're having, you have somebody in your midst, whether you're single or in a relationship. Ooh, for some of you in a relationship, you know what your next level of commitment is. You guys may not be married, but it's the commitment to you guys making a child. For some of you guys, you're pregnant or you are uh, you got someone pregnant. And this person is somebody who you see as your end-all be-all or see as somebody who you really want to provide for. for so for some of you guys, um, this person wants to really provide for you or they that you really want to provide for them. So you guys might be working overtime. I've been working, working overtime. <laughs> That's what it's giving. <laughs> Uh, caution, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. See, Spirit said, don't overwork yourself. Don't burn yourself out. All right, you guys, for some of you, um, not all of you, but for some of you, <laughs> what? Why did I just hear somebody lied about a child because the move on card is here? Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. Somebody lied to you or you lied to them. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, Libra. You could have been the liar or the one lied to, but somebody uh, lied about some type of pregnancy that they had just to keep you around. Mm -hmm. And it's because they like the intimacy that you guys shared. So they didn't want you to be dipping it and doing with anybody else. They don't want you moving on. So you had to find out more information and not overwork yourself over this information that was revealed. So that's going to be for a little tiny percentage of you or a little group of you. I feel like that's very specific. The readings are very specific today. But anyways, um, somebody says... Um, that they want, they want to have a new beginning with you, or if they, if they try to fake that they were pregnant, they faked it. But if, if, if it's not that, they, they try to say that they want a new beginning with you, but they ended up being, 
in their toxic ways again. So like I get that you guys are trying to make a decision. Should you move on or should you stay in that connection? Spirit is saying move on because it's literally here in the cards. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. So for those of you who needed an answer to your question, there goes your answer, okay? Just because you guys have chemistry doesn't mean that you need to be together. That's what Spirit is saying. You have new beginnings elsewhere. So the pregnancy card means new beginnings, but also the pregnancy card doubles as the message that someone is literally pregnant or lied about being pregnant just to keep you around. So just depending on what that, that part of the message resonates with whatever I already said. So y'all can piece it, piece it together. Because I'll be doing too much talking and then Pisces be getting upset. Like, oh my God, you take it too longer. And I'll be trying to get through these readings. All right, so let's say, what else do we have here for my Libras? What's the advice pertaining to the situations in love and romance? Spirit is saying no. <laughs> Not spirit getting upset. Spirit said, no, move on. Somebody's a waste of time. It's over. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, you made the decision to walk away or this is your answer to walk away. For others of you, you're, you're um, looking for helpful people. Um, or some type of help help in your situation. So you might be in a situation ship with somebody. For uh, some of my Libras, you might be in a situation ship with somebody and you're asking your friends or family for like help or advice or like guidance or something of that nature. So you're getting more information because you don't want to get overworked or um, yeah, you, you don't want to get overworked or like overwhelmed with something that you feel as though you could just easily walk away from and be the bigger person. We have unlikely. It's unlikely that that person was pregnant. They probably lied to you to keep you around because you got that mm-mm, mm-hmm, and you do that mm-mm, and you guys got that chemistry that be like mm-mm, and you know, they just want to be around you. They just want to keep you from your new be beginnings or new blessings. So this person is not meant to be in your life, okay? For that, That's for others of my Libras. And, and for everybody, I would say for everybody of my Libras, singles or relationships, this is your main advice. Love yourself first. Doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. Always your self-respect is going to be romantically attractive. So you're definitely going to be way more attractive or someone's going to be so much more attractive to you because it's your energy that guides them into and draws them into your soul. So I do feel like loving yourself first, choosing you but in a way where you are you are healing your, the connection or yourself depending on if you're in a relationship or not um definitely put yourself first in a way that's respectful to you okay and speak about it don't be scared to speak up for a lot of my libras you're scared to communicate certain things because you don't want to hurt people's feelings or if you do communicate things easily you have a hard time making a decision on what it is that you're communicating and how and are you the right one in the situation? It's not about if you're the right one or the wrong one with what you have to say. It's about this is how you feel. This is your perspective. Now, speak on it so that way the other person can say their perspective and then come up with come up with the bigger picture here on like, okay, well, nobody's right or wrong. This is just two people coming in with two different perspectives and trying to come to a common ground. If there's no common ground, then it's okay. You can move on. But if there's something to work out there, then there's obviously unfinished business. So make it work out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this message is for my Libras. For most of my Libras in the beginning, I was getting for a lot of you guys, you guys are about to get married or you guys are in a solid commitment or connection here that's actually going to work out. Um, you guys might be getting eloped or you guys might be building a family. Somebody might be actually pregnant here. So you either got someone pregnant or you're pregnant yourself. So I do see that here. For others of you, it was that move on message. Okay, so I did get both sides of the situation here. Um, for those of you looking for love, if you're single, I do feel like because you're loving yourself first, a lot of people see you as abundant. So I do see that here. Um, and I also see people in and around you supporting your new your new uh, phase of your life, whether you care about what they think or not. I mean, I do get like your friends are hyping you up or your, your family member or a bestie or something is like, oh, yeah, I'm so glad that you are able to like, you know, heal from the past and move on and really be open to love. Because for a lot of my Libras, you were closed off to love. I'm not even going to cap like the readings I was getting for y'all for weeks in a row was that like you Libras needed to open up to love because you guys were closed off like a mug. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what y'all been through. It's none of my business but i'm just saying like you really needed to open up like this this resentment from your heart and let it go because it was really heavy okay so this is going to be that energy for you guys um i do see two more cards that i kind of want to reveal here before we end it 
Um, I do feel like people are looking at you as an abundant person. You got your stuff together. You might be having love offers coming towards you that are going to be really abundant. So open up that resentment in your heart and let it go because um, I do feel like you have new connections and new commitments coming towards you, new courtships. This is people making a decision to get with you or you making a decision to try them out and see where that goes. Okay, so Spirit is saying... Y'all healed. Y'all did what you needed to do. So now it's up to you. If you want it, you can have it. It's definitely going to be successful. You could have been seeing 12, 12 a lot, 11, 11, 333. 3. Those are going to be your angel numbers for this reading. And this is going to be my Libra reading for my Oracle Game Beauty since the 80s of the New Year. <laughs> thank you so much for coming up around me. All right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for sending me gifts, running up those shares and those likes. And you know, hopefully you resonated with the read. If you didn't, check out my other readings on my YouTube. They're always reposted over there. So definitely check it out on the YT. The same way. It's spelled here is the same way it's spelled at Oracle Gang Baddy over there. Thank you, V, for being my moderator in the chat and keeping everybody in check and check in the live stream. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, so let's move on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got Pisces gang in the building. You're welcome. You're welcome, you guys. We're going into Pisces reading. I'm just going to clear the spread and clear the energy so we can tap into Pisces love and relationships, either singles or in a relationship or romance. The romance closest to them. Um, if you guys would like to know. I am offering those uh, love reading services. They're only from now until Valentine's Day. So I do offer love reading uh, services, personal readings um, from now until Valentine's Day. The love readings are going to be $50 for a 30-minute love reading, okay? So if you guys are interested, um, definitely visit my site at oraclegangbaddy.com. Oraclegangbaddy.com is the only way to book a reading with me. I do not slide in your DM soliciting you for a read. There's a lot of scammers out there, so don't fall for it. It ain't me. All right, so um, definitely visit that if you're interested because I got a lot of people asking me in my DMs recently. Um, and I don't mind your questions, you guys. You can DM, DM me whenever. I'm just saying, like, just in case you guys are new here and you don't know about that offer, okay? So that is a limited time only. It's going to go back up to $70 after Valentine's Day. So take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are new here, definitely give me a follow so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. What do we have for my Pisces gang gang in the building? Pisces gang gang pull up on me. <laughs> Pisces gang in the building heavy on them. You know, shout out to the gang. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the shares, you guys, and the likes and the gifts. Thank you. Thank you, Casey and OG Bend Up in the building. Thank you so much for the roses. I see all the roses running it up. Thank you, Adelina. Thank you so much for the heart puff. I appreciate you. You know, I see all my Pisces. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. All right, we're going to tap in. We gonna tap, 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 being wrist on glitter. <laughs> Period. Pisces, were you dealing with cancer or are you still dealing with cancer? I keep getting so weedy going into your reading. I think I did it again last week too. Thank you so much for the heart me, you guys. Thank you so much for the roses. You know, shout out to the gang for pulling up on me heavy. All right, here we go. What do we have from our Pisces gang? Pertaining to love and romance, the relationship closest to them. All right, love and romance, the relationship closest to them for my singles or those in a relationship. What do we have for my Pisces? Ooh, I feel winded. I don't know why I feel winded and exhausted. I feel like I've been talking without breathing this whole time. All right, so here we go. Pisces, you know what I was getting? I feel like you feel like you're over explaining yourself. I don't know why I get this emotion like you guys are over explaining yourself. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know if you're over explaining yourself to a group of people or to one person, but let's just tap in. I don't know what that is. I'm just kind of like energetically feeding into that. So let's say, what do we have for my Pisces gang? Baddies and daddies pertaining to that. All right, what do we have for romance, singles, or relationships? We have a card that came out. I'm going to stop shuffling a while and pick it up. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I do feel like that you are excited to express your love to somebody or somebody feels like this about you. She can be on the other foot. So Pisces, use your imagination. This could be you or the other person who's near your energy. Okay. I do feel like, um, excuse me, with this, with this expression of love, I do feel like, uh, you're a little bit timid on either giving your love or receiving love. I don't know why I feel like you're timid or you're kind of like in this, um, in this uh, trying to over explain or trying to keep somebody around or someone's trying to do that with you. I don't know what that is because they're scared they're going to lose you. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It's, it's giving like you guys are in the honeymoon stage or you're in the new beginnings of the relationship or you rekindled the relationship. Maybe you broke up and you got back together. But there's this energy where it's moving slow. It's slow moving into a direction that you want it to go. But it's like there's a lot of explanation to do. There's a lot of communication to be had. 
Um, it's safe for you to love. Open up your heart and give and receive the highest love of all. I do feel like that you're a little bit, for some of my Pisces, whether you're in a relationship or single, for some of you guys, you feel as though, um, for some of you feel like it's safe for you to love and you can open up to love again. For others of you, you feel closed off to this. And so Spirit's advice is it is safe for you to love, okay? For some of you, you feel as though you've been kind of like holding an, an uncertainty in your heart. So specifically, let me actually spit up these messages because I'm getting two now. For singles, I feel like you're expressing your love or somebody's expressing their love to you, but you're kind of staying distant. You're kind of just like, oh, I don't know, like I already did the love boat before. I don't want to go on another a next love boat. I know it's love season, you know, but I'm going to be like Lil Wayne, you know, hold my breath until my face to turn purple. I keep a few bad in my circle you know it's, it's it's giving this energy it's giving like that kind of energy okay so that's what i'm seeing so far so i'm confused why you feel that way but i feel like you're probably hurt or carrying some type of resentment so spirit is saying it is safe for you to love um or open up your heart at least they don't want you to feel closed off to love especially if there's new offers of love they just need you to communicate okay so somebody um, might be might have to be more open into hearing people out rather than talking about yourself pisces you might want to do more listening um the advice for those in a relationship i do feel like someone or you is expressing their love in the connection but it doesn't matter how short or long you guys been together i feel like you guys have a good chemistry with each other so i feel like you're trying to enjoy the holiday time or this holiday season coming up together um, or this person wants to be chivalrous and do this with you, vice versa. Like I said, shoe on the other foot. I do feel like it is safe for you to love right now with this person. I don't feel like there's any significant red flag um, that's coming up right now, although that could change throughout the reading. But so far, so good. Like, I don't, I'm not mad at this reading for you guys. I don't see anything bad about the person who you're talking to or that you're with right now. I, I feel like it is safe for you to be in this connection, okay? For others of you, you walked away from a connection. So let's just switch it up. For some of my Pisces, you have uh, walked away from someone who you expressed your love to. Um, you feel as though you don't have a, a, a new beginning there. You don't feel safe there. You don't feel secure. You're on the love boat, but it's just not giving. It's just not that it thing. Maybe you're still um, tied up within your emotions about past things because we have this boat in the water and it's moving slow. So you're slowly healing your emotional state of mind. Anything that happened in the past that hurt your feelings emotionally or physically on a deeper level, emotionally, you're still trying to uh, clean that up or clear that out of your, out of your energy. So I do feel like... Um, it's safe for you to love elsewhere only after you provide healing or uh, revisit these things, okay? I do feel like you decided to go and uh, kind of remove yourself, okay? So anyways, that is going to be for my Pisces so far. And that was only on three cards, y'all. So let's just get some more card decks because I know y'all was like, why did she pull out other cards? Let me actually get my um, frankincense burning again because my frankincense burned out. Ooh, ooh. Frankincense is burnt out. Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make sure the space stays cleansed. All right, so that's what we have so far in your energy. Let's get into, let's say, let's get into my uh, Kipper deck here for some more additional messages on details of what's going on with Pisces. All right, you can find this at Oracle Gang Daddy on the YT. Um, Miranda. Morfield, is that how you say your name? I hope I pronounced that right. All right, here we go. Here we go. What do we have for my Pisces gang gang in the building pertaining to love and romance? What do we have for my Pisces? Change. Like I said, for some of you guys, you're changing in a connection or you're allowing change to happen uh, for you. For some of my singles, I do feel like you're, you're finding that you're open to love or that you can be open to love and it's safe for you to love uh safe for you to open up your mind or your heart to love. So I do feel like you're changing your ways into the right direction of this. For others of you who are trying to walk away from a connection, it is safe for you to love elsewhere or it's safe for you to provide change for abundance later on. So I do see this here. I do see that you could be at a distance from somebody location-wise. For some of you guys, you're in a relationship and somebody expresses their love to you heavily and you're at a distance from them. So you're feeling as though... Um, you're feeling as though it's safe for you to love elsewhere because you don't feel connected to them. 
So physically, you're at a distance from them or it's just not working out or you're questioning this. Um, it's safe. You feel like it's safe for you to love elsewhere. So you're going to change your direction and being in this connection. For others of you, you feel safe in that connection and you're going to be going towards them. So you're going to be moving in with them or moving in the same uh, city, state, country, wherever you're at. So I do feel like that. It just depends on your certain situ situation or circumstance. I do see this here. All right, sir. With that being said, it's a hard decision for some of you. I definitely want to say for my Pisces, it's not an easy decision for you guys to be open to love. And I do feel like you're healing from a lot of losses. You're healing from a lot of lies, cheating, stealing type energy, um, a lot of deceit, okay? Because we do have like people in the background who are probably high kiki and talking about you. These could be family or friends or past romantic partners that are talking ish about you or even like people who you felt like were wasting their time with you. As I'm saying that, I see 444. So your angel number is 444. Um, I also see here that you are protected. So even though you feel like this, you are protected and going in a new direction when it comes to love. All right. Um, I feel like you felt like um, some of these people were immature that you dated younger people or they act young. So if they weren't younger in age, then they acted really immature, even though they were supposed to be a specific age, they didn't act their age. All right. So I do see that here. And we have the bad health card. Yeah, there could be people who um, you stay up at night thinking about um, or you think about a loss or take it how it resonates. This could be vice versa. This could be somebody else thinking about you having sleepless nights. It could be the person wanting to express their love at, for you at a distance, but they keep dreaming up, dreaming about you or um, having like having like um, sleepless nights. They can't go to bed. So I do see that here. Very interesting energy, the way it's coming through. Can we get another uh, insight to this? This is kind of a... Uh, I feel like, Pisces, you're confused. I feel like you're confused about love or someone's confused about you in love. Okay? Um, I don't really get a direct answer for you guys. It seems like Pisces energy is all over the place from singles and relationships. All right, so that's what I'm seeing so far. What else do we have here from a Pisces gang gang in the building? What do we have here? There's a lot of confusion here. Something about loss, something about memories, something about distance from people or a person. And the sleepless nights, worries, doubts, fears, stress, anxieties. Some people are moving on. Some people are staying where they're at. Some people need to change their direction. I'm like, what is going on, Pisces? Can y'all help me get it together? Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. You might have this confession to make to somebody because you want to move on to somebody because on from somebody because you just want to be alone. Patience. Just a few more months. Good things to come to those who wait. OK, so that I do see this here. I do see that you're going to see you're going to seek love elsewhere or that you want your own time to be alone in order for you to to obtain love elsewhere. You don't want to be in a relationship right now for some of you guys. For others of you, you do want to be in a connection. But the thing is, you're going to have to confess to somebody that uh, you feel as though um, you're not you're not available for them. OK, this could be the person that you're expressing your love to. Or I'm sorry, this could be the person that's expressing their love to you like heavily and they want to be with you and they could be at a physical distance that you have a lot of chemistry with or you have history with. And I feel like you're going to have to confess to them that you want to move on because you feel like you're not the available one. So you feel like this connection isn't going to work out or you feel like they're going to get hurt messing around with you. So you might have to say that to somebody. For others of you, this was told to you. OK, so shoe on the other foot. If that didn't resonate, this was actually told to you. Someone has a confession to tell you that they're unavailable or a waste of time. And um, they're going to be honest about it. And it's going to feel like a loss. And it's going to feel sad. And you're going to have sleepless nights. But you're going to get over that. Because Spirit is saying you do have love elsewhere. Um, because if you have patience with this process, um, this year you'll have a new uh, loving partner who actually wants to be with you. For those of you who feel like you're going through rejection or will be rejected soon. Okay. For a lot of my Pisces, you have good intuition, but you don't follow it. For a lot of my Pisces, you know what it is that's about to happen or you know what it is that you need to do in love and relationships or uh, relationships closest to you, friends, family members, even romantically to you, like romantic relationships. Um, you guys have the intuition, but you don't necessarily always follow it. I don't know what that is. I don't know why y'all do that. But there is this information there coming through. OK, so I'm seeing that spirit wants you to get you to follow your intuition this time around in 2024. Your intuition is going to be your best key. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing. Let's get some angel advice for my Pisces gang and then we'll move on to Capricorn because I am definitely confused and that's probably how y'all feel and I need to get out y'all energy because y'all got me messed up. <laughs> you can't be in this energy too long. Y'all got me messed up. Because y'all hard-headed because <laughs> of self-sabotage. That's what you said. 
Oh my goodness. I love how y'all reading yourselves for filth. I don't have to do it sometimes. Thank you so much. Because I don't mean to tell y'all that, but that's literally what's coming up. Um, Spirit is saying you do have abundance elsewhere. So that's why that's why you have to be patient with patient with the process when it comes to love and romance, whether you're single or in a relationship, you have abundance coming towards you. Okay. This is going to require patience, okay? Um bottom of the deck, the situation will improve. Top of the deck, it'll happen only in divine timing. Only when you let go of something emotionally or physically. Um, it looks like it's going to be a confession that either you're going to give or you're going to receive from somebody about moving on or taking a break to break in order for the situation to improve between two people who feel like they're having sleepless nights, stress, doubts, worries, and fears when it comes to the distance emotionally or physically. Um, this is the expression of love that needs to be expressed honestly and real and truthfully in order for you to have success and love in 2024 so that is kind of like the bigger overall picture for a lot of my pisces who are in a relationship or who are single okay so that's what i'm getting so far oh i don't know what this energy is i really need to get out of y'all energy pisces it's really giving it's putting it's it's putting me off off uh balance here okay Maybe you guys feel off balance in love. I don't know. But let's get out of your energy. Thank you so much for tuning into the read, though. That's going to be your read, my loves, for my Pisces gang gang in the building. Shout out to the gang. At least you have love eventually, like, you know, later on this year. It might not be with that person, though, that you're thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see. Only time can tell, you guys. Like I said, take the messages as they resonate. They're not going to be everybody's message. If you want a particular personal love reading for you, um, I do offer those services at my website at oraclegangbaddy.com. You definitely want to visit there for a personal reading. That's going to be more um, That's going to be more detailed and catered to you. These are just general zodiac sign readings. So these could resonate or these could not. Um, some of the messages resonate. Not all the messages will resonate. So take it how it resonates and leave the rest, okay? That's not yours for somebody else, okay? So that's what I'm getting for my Pisces gang. Thank you so much for tuning into the read. I'm going to cross out Pisces. We're going to get into Capricorn's energy. Where are my goats in the chat? Shout out to the gang. Drop your zodiac signs down in the chat stream below for my goats. My goats in the building. Ooh. You guys, you should see me right now. I have an afro. <laughs> for those of you who have those OG emojis, the little girl with the heart and the afro around her, that's literally me <laughs> and an emoji. I literally have an afro right now. I woke up and I didn't do my hair all day. I didn't do my hair all day. I look crazy. You you need to thank me for saving y'all because I be looking crazy over here. My hair be a mess. I be looking a mess on the other side of the screen. You're so lucky you don't see me. You're so lucky that you only see the hands in the cards because I'm looking jacked up. <laughs> I be looking jacked up. Mm-hmm. I be looking homeless. I be looking like I have problems. Not that homeless people have problems. Not all of them do, but... I just be looking like I don't I don't keep up with myself like I really do I need to get it together I need to stop like neglecting myself I really am Capricorns we're in your reading my loves thank you so much pull it around thank you so much you guys <laughs> definitely give me a follow if you are new here follow Oracle Game Betty on the TikTok and live streams so that way you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming you say you do the same Nina I just be feeling a mess. I really do. Pancakes, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jen, for the heart me. Shout out to the gang. Thank you for the hearts and the heart me, you guys. I'm collecting eight. I'm collecting 35, but I got eight out of 35 so far. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Oracle gang babies and Sadies for Capricorn. What you concerned about, Capricorn? A relationship. A new relationship. Wow. Messages in relationship. An ending. Oh, Jesus. Uh, is this Pisces energy seeping through your read or what? I don't know if you have Pisces or you're dealing with a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. <sighs> Lord. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? For my Capricorns. This is very interesting energy. We are already in your energy, my love. So let's get it. So I do see here that for some of my Capricorns, you have a courtship. Whether you guys have been together for a short period of time or a long period of time, there's a relationship here, okay, of some sort, casual or committed. Um, I'm going to be specific now that I said that. I do feel like this is more of somebody who you have known uh, for a short period of time. Um, 
I don't feel like maybe you've been on and off with this person like every four years or th- or not every four years, but the last four years you've been on and off or you've been on and off for four months. So it's either four months or four years. But this new connection or what t- whatever type of connection this is, whether it's casual or committed, I do feel like there's some type of communication here. Somebody's concerned. It's either you or Cap- you, you Capricorn or your person, whoever it is that's in your energy. Um, somebody's concerned about the connection here, concerned about what's happening in the communication between the two of you. Um, there's an ending here. Somebody is, somebody wants to end the connection or somebody wants to distance themselves for whatever reason. It seems like somebody feels obligated to be in the connection for a specific reason, but other, somebody else wants out. This person who feels obligated to be in the connection wants out they may not communicate this to you or they may have already now if this isn't communication coming towards you this is you sending somebody communication like this ain't working out um i don't know what this is but what i do know is that it's keeping somebody up at night um this relationship could have been based off of the sex as well because we have the bed here in the card so i do get that this person could have been a casual something um, I don't know if you expected it to turn into anything serious, but we have two fours here. We have the 31 breaking down to a four and then we have a four. So these are matching each other's energy. So about this connection, um, it seems like it was only based off the SEX because it looks good on the outside, but on the inside it's based off of some low vibrational energy or some surface level type stuff. Yeah, it's not really conducive to being in a relationship because you guys find the toxicity in it or that this is being revealed to you. You're coming to a ha moment or that this person is. And so somebody wants to end the connection. This is the message of communication that's concerning somebody. Either you or them want to end the end things to have a new beginning elsewhere. Yeah, you guys are moving on. You guys could have already ended this, but for some of you guys, you haven't already. So I'm speaking about something you're about to do. But yeah, there's a message to end something for a new beginning elsewhere because it's been on somebody's mind very heavy. And also somebody has already known that this was based off of a, a physical attraction and not off of something that could be longevity. So someone's disappointed here. So that's what I'm seeing so far. Yes, we are on Capricorn. Okay, so what do we have for my Capricorn beauties and Zadies in the building when it comes to um, relationships? When it comes to uh, romance for singles or relationships. For others of you, hold on. For my singles, I do feel as though you're really disappointed. For my singles, you've been going on a dating scene. And what's concerning you is a lot of these uh, DMs or messages. I don't know. For some of you guys, you're on a dating platform. For some of y'all, y'all decided to do the dating platform because somebody said they found their person on there or somebody said, yeah, you know, it's just a great way to like, you know, test out, like test the water, see if you're ready to be dating and stuff like that. That's probably the worst way to do it because these dating apps ain't ish sometimes and they can really add to the discouragement because there's a lot of people on there who aren't healed. They're just looking to get underneath somebody else, which is this bed card here. So it's all surface level type stuff just to go on a date or to... Or to get a free meal or to, uh, you know, get into the BED to have the SEX. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about. A lot of this is disappointing you. The options are disappointing you. If it's not a dating app, it's definitely the DMs. People irritating you, sliding your DMs. You're like, what do you want? All right. So I do see that here because people know you're available. And you're a good catch, Capricorn. So I do feel like um, you do get off, give off that energy of like you, you have an abundant energy or that people are curious about you. However, you're just not open to that. I feel like you're disappointed. You're, you're, you're ending the, that whole, that whole rendezvous of trying to be out there for a lot of y'all, y'all looking for abundance in a form that you haven't found yet. Okay. So a lot of you guys, you're not necessarily embarking on connections. You're just going to be living your best life, doing your best you, in the present moment and I do feel like you're you're kind of in the background thinking about oh love or maybe you're just having one night stands but there is this energy where you're just like you're not with it you're like I can get my blessings elsewhere I don't really necessarily have to be bumping and messing with these people or grinding with these people like yeah I don't get I don't get that you're interested in anybody right now for a lot of my Capricorn singles you're disappointed you're like these are the options out here I'd rather stay home and stop wasting my money and time and energy on these people these folks 
So you might go through a healing healing process with the bad health card is just telling me that you're healing. You're probably in hermit mode for some of you. For others of you, you're probably just like, you know, um, having like this in the background. You, you just wonder about it. You either daydream or you have you have dreams in your sleep kind of wondering about your abundance. Who's going to be that person for you if you're ever going to have love in this lifetime? Is there anybody who's going to match your energy? Because what you're looking for is a lot different than what most people look for. So it's going to be different for each one of you. So let's say, what do we have here for my Capricorns? What do we have for my Capricorn babies and daddies up in the building? What do we have for my Capricorns? I get for some of you guys who are in a connection, in a relationship, like you've been together for a while, for a long time. Um, I do feel like uh, the communication you get from the person, this person wants to uh, move on. And this is almost like a gift in the present moment because you didn't want to be the one to end it. <laughs> not you not wanting to do it. Child. Anyways, you happy about this ending? <laughs> oh my God, you guys are funny. Anyways, let's see. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. For some of you guys are choosing to work on your partnership or somebody wants to work on the connection. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but this was in the reverse. We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. For some of you guys, you're too controlling. You're too fixated on like, I don't know what this is. You're too fixated on a person or an outcome, but whatever this is, it's like, spirit is like, the reason why there's a lack of communication here and a lack of love for that situation I was getting in the beginning. For some of you guys who are on a casual something with somebody or you've known them for on and off, you dealt with them on and off or you've known them on and off for a short period of time, I do feel as though you guys are trying to control the situation to go your way and this is what's pushing the person away from you, okay? It's either that you're doing this to them or they're doing this to you, but somebody feels like they don't wanna give the relationship a chance and somebody else does, but somebody else doesn't know what they're doing to push Capricorn away, right? Somebody else doesn't know what they're doing to push someone else away. That's what I'm getting. So we have financial issues and career in the reverse is a factor in your love life. I do feel like you're about to be abundant later on, but it's probably because you guys communicate these differences. For some of you guys, you're about to just let this person know like, oh my God, you're too controlling or they're going to let you know this and you're going to be like, oh, that's what's wrong with me. Let me fix that. And then we can have this connection, right? <laughs> like... So for some of you, it's just going to be that girl math. Like, the math just is going to math. You know what I'm saying? So, for some of y'all, somebody didn't know what they were doing, okay? So, what's that saying? It's giving that saying, like, uh, what's that saying? Don't mistake ignorance for malice. Like, this person wasn't necessarily knowing what they were doing. They just had bad habits from their old relationship. And so, this is probably what you'll find out. Just by you saying like, yo, you're too controlling. You need to calm down. You need to back up. They're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know I was being like that. But like, It's just because like they've been in relationships where they had to be a certain way or that somebody else treated them like that. They didn't know that they were carrying that into a new relationship. That's why it's so important to heal, y'all. I'll be telling y'all like it's so important to heal because sometimes you don't even know what you're doing in the connection and somebody brings it to, to the surface and then you're like, oh, and then you feel bad about yourself. It's not to feel bad about yourself. It's supposed to heal that. So that way you can work things out. But y'all be getting in your head. Y'all be like, oh, no, no, it's not being brought up like that for that reason. OK, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, there is true love and true moments of a lifetime here. For some of you guys, you you do have true love, but you have to end something. There's something that you're dragging out because we have the coffin card here. You have to end a behavior, a pattern, or you have to end the lack of communication or you have to stop being in control, being controlling, always expecting it to go your way or the highway. We do have love here, but um, this gift from the universe can't happen if you guys are still being toxic, toxico, toxica energy. OK, you know what it is. You know what your toxic traits are. Don't be acting listen 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 to me capricorn babies and ladies don't be acting brand new out here in these streets we already know all right so me and divine spirit already know you know your toxic traits so let's make adjustments that's all i'm saying because you do have abundance elsewhere in love or you do have true love amongst you right now it just depends on the situation for a lot of you it's going to be different so let's get one more card to close out capricorn's reading and then we're going to move on to Leo's. Zon do it. <laughs> Somebody put my Zon do it heart. I love that. I worked on that emoji today. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 
All right, the juice and the tea is hot. Hold on, let me take a little sip of my little mug. Mm -hmm. You know Chip is here. Chip is down for the tea. <laughs> Chip was so nosy in that movie, I can't. <laughs> Listen, somebody's got their eye on you. They're spying or they're doing the research. This is either you or the person that you worried about in your energy. Okay, this is either somebody spying on you or you smiling on them, you know, spying equals social media, looking at somebody's thing, unblocking them, reblocking them, you know, looking them up in the search bar, checking them out on the internet, looking up their email address. For some of you guys, you're dating, you're in the dating scene, so you have to do this. Stay safe out there. But for others of you, you already know who this person is and you're just doing this to see what they're doing. Um, for some of you, this person is doing this to you and you don't even know and they're just trying to see what you up to. Someone else, someone else is in the middle. Someone's trying to sabotage this, followed by air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Capricorn, you can have an air sign in and around you that's trying to sabotage something. It doesn't have to be an air sign. They could just have air sign placements in their chart or they could act like one. They could just, they could be an Aries and act like an air sign. You know what I'm saying? They could be a completely different sign, but you know that they have traits like an air sign. So this person is definitely could be an ex or could be a, a person who, um, who you're dealing with right now that you know you're in a third party situation with maybe that's what needs to end maybe you you know you're in a third party situation and you're trying to get more information to leave but the information's already there there goes the person what you need more evidence for make your move get out of there um for others of you uh i do feel like you know that you put somebody else in a third party situation. And so you have to end this. You have to end either the old old person that you were with for a long period of time or you have to end it with a new person. But you can't have both is what spirit is saying. So you got to make a decision. All right. So you may be going and looking up more information or taking your time to make a decision. But whoever's in this situation could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius that you're dealing with. They don't have to be. But it requires communication to end something so you have abundance elsewhere. But because you, you put yourself in a place, in a position where your manifestation is kind of delayed because of a third party situation. Either you're the one who put somebody else in a third party situation or someone put you in a third party situation. But you need to get it together. Okay. That's that's the tea. Child. You said you just let go of both. <laughs> I'm screaming. Not Kennedy out here confessing. <laughs> These are my confessions. <laughs> just when I thought I said I <laughs> screw All right, here we go. What do we have as the advice? And then we'll move on to Leo's because I know y'all need advice for this situation. I got so many situations for Capricorn. It's unlikely that you're going to have both. So be assertive and make a decision and make only one choice. You're either going to choose one person or the other person or you're going to choose you. You need to be authentic to what's going to make you most happy, what's going to bring you joy and peace, and stop worrying about what other people think. Because a lot of my Capricorns, you worried about what somebody else thinks. Child, ain't nobody got time for that. It's not the right time. You see this? It's, <laughs> I literally just said, ain't nobody got time for that. And then this is on the bottom of the deck. That's kind of wild. Anyways, sir, this is going to be my message for my Capricorns. You're going to have to forgive because now is not the right time to be acting messy. All right, so this is my message for my Capricorn babies and sandies up in the building. Thank you so much for pulling up to the reads. Let's go on to Leo gang gang in the building. Drop your zodiac signs down in the chat stream below. If you are new here, please make sure that you are following me here so you get that notification every time I'm live streaming. Every time I do a live stream read, you will get that notification from TikTok. If you are following me here, Oracle Game Danny on TikTok. Thank you so much for pulling up around me. All right, you guys. And if you are subscribed on my bottom left of my screen, I do have that star next to my um, comment section. And you can subscribe to be an OG up in the building. So you get a gang badge next to your name. You also get to use my OG emojis. For all my gang gang members, drop those OG emojis and show what everybody else is missing out on. All right, and you also get put into an Oracle deck with your name on it so you can win a free 10-minute personal reading on um, Saturdays at 12. 12 noon is when we do the personal reading live streams, okay? So it's one-on-one. -on -one, it's a lot of fun. So if you want to be entered into that, it's $2.99 a month for my TikTok subscriber only, okay? So pull up around with me. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so that way we can have more fun on pulling these cards and etc etc all right so let me uh clear out the energies as i see my leos dropping these zodiac signs down in the chat stream below pull up around me yeah you know, shout out to the gang 999 robin was putting the angel number emoji out there i know that's right 
It's so cute. All right, so let's see. What do we have for my Leos? I almost called Leos Geminis by accident because I saw Geminis after them. Um, what do we have for my Leos in love and relationships? What do we have for my Leo gang gang in the building? Drop your lions and lioness emojis down in the chat stream. Let me know you ready for the read, my loves. I see a lot of my Leos in the chat. Yes, pull it down. <laughs> yes, it's a vibe. <laughs> I'm going to take a little sip of my tea if you guys don't mind. I'm losing my voice. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. I wasn't even talking over the weekend. Oh, wait. That's a lie. Yes, I was. <laughs> I, was I was talking nonstop. I was doing the personal readings. Mm -hmm. mm, this tea is everything. Whew. I need it so bad. Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for running up those shares and those likes. We have 79.8K. Oh, we have 80K likes. Thank you. 80K likes and 92 shares. So let's keep running it up, running it up. I also have nine out of those 35 hearts. So send those hearts, you guys, because I'm trying to get to my goals, period. All right, what do we have for my Leos in love and relationships? What do we have for my Leos in love and relationships? What do we have for my Leo gang gang? Here we go. Leos. For love and relationships, singles or those in a relationship, can we get the messages for their highest good in romance? What do we have here? What do we have here for my Leos? What messages do my Leos need to hear for those who need to hear a message? What do we have for my Leo gang gang? Desi, thank you so much for the rose. I appreciate you. Yeah. Hi, Steffi. Thank you for the likes, Ashley. <laughs> What's up, Shaylin? You have, um, you're highly supported by family members, friends, or a strong community of people. Um, this could very well be a uh, family, friends, or uh, a bestie. Just like one person, but you're strongly, uh, you're strongly like in a commitment with your with your divine soul, your energy, or like your path, or something like that. Speaks of passions. To speak of other people in the community, maybe you're um a social media like platform person, or you're doing something like as an influencer. But yeah, you're surrounded by a community of people who love and support you. I like this energy. What's on the bottom of the deck here? We have the thief card. Oh, wow. Oh, child. Hold up. It made a turn for the worse. <laughs> now we speak it too soon. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Somebody's trapped here in their thoughts. This is you, Leo. This is nobody else but you. I promise you that. Um, Leos, you might have been trapped in your thoughts, having anxieties, doubts, fears, worries pertaining to your career we have occupation card here so it's the passions it's your relationship to money and career that's coming through and i do feel as though you probably lost in the past either some money or some opportunities but i do feel as though it's going to be restored because i don't know if there's people in and around you who um who cultivated this loss or this community that you knew that you were highly praised by there was some snakes in the grass so you had to keep your grass cut low type energy, um, figuratively speaking. Um, but yeah, there's this energy where I do feel like there's a community of people who may have wanted to see you not win when it comes to your work, your finances, your career, your relationships closest to you, or you work out, work out a relationship with somebody. Somebody didn't want you to work out a relationship with somebody, or they didn't want you to work out your relationship to money. They were hoping that you didn't succeed. You may not know who this person is or who these groups of people are because they look like this. Shiny, exciting, supportive, loud, happy, laughing, etc. But these people are actually this. The reveal. Wasting your time, cackling, talking ish behind your back, acting immature, things like that. This is you. This is them. So how does this turn into this, you ask? Because you're working on something. Or you're working on a relationship with somebody and people aren't happy about it. People are mad that you chose your person over them. People are upset that you may have chose your career, your relationship to money, or your relationship to romance, a romantic connection with somebody over them. This could even be an ex. And this could be the ex's family, friends, and including the ex. And they just look like this. They talk in a lot of smickety smack. You might not know about it or you might hear about it. But like I said, don't give it no smoke. These people are upset about something that you're doing right. You must be doing something right. I do see you focus on your passions and, and, and staying 10 toes down 
So you you in a relationship and there's some people who are like upset. This could be fam. This could be friends. If it's not family members, it's 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 friends, <laughs> or a bestie, or a fr- or a family member. If it's not plural, but it's somebody closest to you that's like hating on you, and you could be in this thought process where you feel as though um you're kind of stressed or worried or you're 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 like oh but I have so much history with whoever this is or whatever group of people this is. And now I'm doing this and now people are changing in around me. No, those people were always like this. They just didn't show this until they saw you coming up. They didn't show this until they saw you being happy in relationships. They didn't want you to. So that's what I'm getting. Wow, that's deep. That's kind of wild. Not somebody doing that. They could be saying stuff on a public platform. You know what it is? I get that some of y'all... You go through your story and you're going to see certain things that people say and you're going to think it's 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 targeted towards you. It is because whatever it is that you're posting is about this, whatever you're working on, career or finances, your relationship to money or a relationship with somebody. Whatever you post is somebody mad about it. Oh my God, nothing being mad. So then this is getting to your head because you're concerned about it. Spirit says, don't worry about that fake smoke. It's all imaginary smoke. These people are unhappy. It seems like you're going to make a decision to cut some people out. As you see, there's two people on this card and you're the decision maker. You're calling judgment on your life, on who you want to keep in and around you. Because all these people who you thought, they were, they was your friends, they was your family members, they was the supporters, they was this, they they dusty, crusted, busted, disgusted. They don't need to be in your energy. They don't even need to go where you're going. Mm-hmm. So this could have caused for a lot of concern on your end. But the problem is you need to cut these people out. They need to be loved from afar or held at a healthy distance or not communicated with at all. Blocked and access denied on all levels. For some of you guys, you already did this. But for others of you, this is your advice. So I could be speaking of the past or a present moment thing happening. So anyways, this is you pulling up to the read main character energy. This is you making a judgment call on your life. And showing up like this. This is boss energy, okay? Leos, you are the leaders. Look at this person on the card. They definitely lead in something. So I do feel as though people are intimidated by your energy or by your pride or by your, um, not pride in a bad way, not like ego, but like, you know, by your confidence, you know, by your um, unshakability to constantly push forward in a relationship with somebody romantically or the relationship to your money. And they see you with this leader boss like energy. Okay, leaders create leaders, not followers. And you're the type of people who like to lead and create other leaders. And people are looking for to follow somebody. And you're like, no, I don't want you to follow me. I don't even want you to be near me because because you don't got good energy. And you just want to gossip and doubt and do all these different things and throw all these different things towards me. You're not even supporting me, really. You're just trying to support the, the clout. It's like, do you want to step up to? Do you want to be on my level? I could teach you something. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys, you probably got off social media because you see a lot of clout and you're just over it. For a lot of you, you see a lot of people hating on you and, and throwing subliminal messages in the stories or in the posts and you're over that. So it just depends. Like I said, male or female, I don't read genders on the card. I just read energy, but this is definitely Leo on the card showing up. This is how other people see you. Abundant, put together. All right, friendly person, you don't have pride or ego. You're just like very much approachable and they're jealous of that because they're not that. Uh-huh. This could be somebody who is at a distance from you. This could be somebody at a distance from you. Maybe you're concerned about making a judgment call to remove yourself from somebody at a distance from you. I don't know who this person is at a distance, but they have like a, a low vibrational thought process or they have a way of thinking that isn't meant to be in and around your energy, okay? This is either a family member, a friend, a romantic ex, or a partner. Whoever this is, um, they have low vibrational thoughts or they could be trapped. They could literally be locked up. They could literally be locked up. Well, I mean, this could be somebody who you're still in communication with from the phone, from the prison. So that's what I'm seeing here because it's literally the prison card, the concern card, the decision making, and then you by yourself. So are you removing yourself from somebody else because you're done working on whatever this is or you're done giving to whatever this is? I don't know. You tell me, Leos, because for a lot of Leos, it's going to be different. All right, sir, let's see. Um, what do we have here for love and romance? Yeah. 
yeah this this feels weird this energy feels weird it's like ew why it's giving me the ache <laughs> cringe energy like why is somebody being like this why do people like have to be pulling up like that it's because misery loves company and it's because you can't control what other people do because everybody has free will you can't control what other people think but what you can control is what you allow and what you allow is what will continue so i feel like spirit is trying to tell you that this is not worth dragging on and as i'm saying that why am i picking up the card that fell on the floor look at the card on the floor unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so for some of you guys if it's not if it's not a romantic connection that you feel like it's not working out it's the connections and the relationships in and around you you feel as though things aren't working out in a relationship to somebody and you're about to cut them out or you're making a, a judgment call to cut out more than one person that vibrate from this energy they look like this on the outside as a reminder but they're really this energy wasting your time energy coin being immature, probably high kikian, gossiping about you, probably thinking that you can't um you can't win at life or that things are gonna fall through or they're wishing bad on your romantic connections that you have. Whatever. Whatever this is, whoever this is, it's unrequited. You need to cut these people out because they're trapped in a way of thinking that does not resonate with you and they're not supposed to go where you're going, period. They're not supposed to go to the wedding that you got coming up. They're not supposed to be part of your life like that. I mean, it could even be a family member or a friend that is really close to you that you know for a long time they're not supposed to be in and around your energy they're just not people aspire all the time okay they're only around for a specific amount of time like i said finances and career financial factors are a factor in your love life this is telling me that something that that used to be abundant in your life has died out okay the energy has died between the two of you and that's why there's not enough chemistry between the two of you okay um, so you're calling in new people in your life, soulmate, soul tribe. You could be calling in new friends um, just by ch changing up your energy. For some of you, you're ending a connection or a relationship. And so you're deciding to go in a new direction to be with your actual soulmate, to be with somebody who you actually feel together with. Um, for some of you, this is your this is your prayers and affirmations. Your soulmate is your relationship to money. The things that you were concerned about um, because you were working hard on something, when it comes to your finances, your relationship to money, your finances, you were working hard at something or you had a goal or something or a dream and a lot of people underestimated you and you're calling in this manifestation and a lot of people are like this. Mm -hmm. It's sus. All right. Or they're asking. They got the hand out because they realize that you, you're going to be successful. You got to watch out for people like this. They don't always have the best interest. They only worried about the coin. Are they worried about how you act now? They're going to be like, oh, you acting different. You cut me out. Oh, you acting different. It's not that you're acting different. It's that you're you're putting and valuing yourself and you're putting respect on your name. And you're putting respect on your accolades and your value and your worth. Something that they don't know how to do for themselves, which is why they vibrate around the same low vibrational energy and the people and the entities around them that they vibrate with, that they hack a key with. They think it's, oh, that's my friend. No, they're just like surrounded by people that are the same energy as them, keeping them in the same spot. That's why they're stagnant. So when you move up, you look like you're moving different, but you're not moving different. You're moving the same. You just finally have success now. And a lot of people are like, well, can't you share it with me? No, because my I'm creating a leader by not sharing with you. Leaders create leaders. I'm not creating a follower or somebody who's asking for a handout. No, absolutely not. So that's how you're acting, Leo. That's what I'm seeing for my Leos in relationships, but also my Leos in career. We got a lot of money coming out here. Okay. We have recovery mode. You guys are definitely probably meditating or praying or manifesting. Um, this recovery mode is definitely giving you more information on what is to come. You're getting more information or more downloads from your intuition because as I look at this card, I see the triangle. So it's telling me as above, so below. So I do feel like you're connected to source. So anything intuitively that you get, you should pivot, you should move, you should make that decision, you should speak up type energy. Um, there is going to be peaceful resolutions when you do. And I do feel as though meditation brings answers. That goes along with the recovery I was getting. Um, meditation brings answers for some of you guys. Prayer, manifestation, whatever you're doing that you feel connected to source with. You, you feel more connected to yourself because there's something better. Like I said, you're receiving your flowers. There is something better than what it is that you've been uh, spoon fed. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, it's going to be false family members, false friends. You're going to see this play out. I'm telling you, it might not be happening right now for some of you. For some of you, you know what I'm talking about. For others of you, you're like, I don't know what OGB is talking about. 
but I'm telling you, it's going to play out and you're going to be like, oh, so I need to cut these people out because there is a, a better, a better group of people that should be in my life who are actually going to be supportive, who are not going to put on the front like, oh, I support you and then be asking for a handout later. Look at this kid trying to steal this man's watch. That's you, Leo. Somebody immature is trying to trying to steal your time, steal your energy, steal your coin because you made it, because you work hard for something, because you you don't feel as though, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's weird energy. It's giving weird, it's giving weirdos. I don't F with the weirdos. I'm a weirdo myself, but not that kind. <laughs> I'm weird, but you're a weirdo. That's what it's giving. So take that how it resonates, Leo. Not going to be for all. This could definitely be a prediction reading. So definitely take it into consideration. But I wouldn't take it literal right now if it's not happening in your life. But for those of you who it's happening right now, you guys know what I'm talking about. You're connected to the read and I'm connected to you because we're channeling. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pull it around. All right. Thank you so much for the love and the likes, you guys. We have 117 shares and also 105.5K likes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing love to the gang. All right. So we're going to tap out of Leo's energy and get into Gemini's energy. So those were the messages for Leo's. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Game Baddie so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. All right, you guys, you don't want to ever miss a read. Um, we always have fun in the readings and you don't want to miss your sign, if, especially if you're watching for multiple signs. So definitely make sure you follow. And let's move on to Gemini's. Shout out to my Gemini gang gang in the building. <laughs> Shout out to my Gemini's. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you ready. We be live in. All right, put your twin emojis down in the chat. Let me know you're ready. Heavy on them. The air sign energy gang gang in the building has entered the chat. <laughs> I'm going to take a little sip of my tea. Mm -mm -mm. You guys, ooh, I be talking nonstop. I be talking non-freaking-stoppity-stop. -stop. Non-freaking-stoppity-stop. All right, so what do we have for my Geminis? Geminis, pull up around me. Destiny Star, thank you so much for the heart. <laughs> so cute. I love it because it comes in and kisses my board. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, she sent me two. Oh, she sent me three. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. So what do we have here? Thank you, Chels, for the rose. I appreciate you. All right. What do we have for my Gemini, babies and Sadies? And if you guys are interested in love readings, I do offer personal love readings on my site at oraclegangbaddy.com. Oraclegangbaddy.com is the only way to book a love reading, a personal love reading with me. Um, they're going to be 30 minutes for a love reading. All right, for $50. And it's only from now until Valentine's Day, okay? So make sure you take advantage of that before it expires. Ooh, Gemini, I get some good energy for you. Ooh, ooh. We have confession. We have no, it's not the right time. Oh, not spirit reading us for filth. What do they say? What are they talking about? All right, so I see here for my Geminis, whether you're single or in a relationship, um, take it how it resonates, like you guys, I always say. Um, we have pregnancy. Someone is expecting, you could obviously be pregnant or you could not know yet you're going to get pregnant because I don't know who you're dealing with, but you might be messing around like rabbits, okay? You might be out here effing like rabbits. Yes, yes. So if you don't want no keys, you better strap up. Um, for others of you, there's this energy. If you're dealing with somebody right now or you want to deal with somebody, I do get that there's a new beginning happening in your life. So this could either be pregnancy if you're in a relationship or if you're single, you're ready to mingle. This is a new beginning coming towards you. It's a new friendship between you and somebody else, a deepening bond. All right. With the pets card, I get that this person or you could have pets. You can be pet deities and deities and you combine your little pet family together and you make a cute little vibe. Um, I do see here, but with the pets card, it's giving me like companionship, like a friend. So I do feel like you have a new beginning with somebody who's going to be like a good friend to you or that you already have somebody who's a good friend to you and you might be embarking in a romantic connection or this person might want to be like, you know, even if you guys are just friends and maybe it's just your homie, um, and you're not like that, like that. I do feel like this person may have some type of, um, feelings for you. So I do feel like this person has a confession to tell you. Okay. They have a confession to tell you that they, they probably are into you, but you guys are just friends. And so you might be like, no, I'm going to move on. It's not the right time to be in this type of thing. You might you might actually turn it down, but Spirit is saying, if you don't want it, it's fine. Just turn it down gently, you know what I'm saying? Because this person is a really good friend to you. 
um, and they, they really had thought about it because they almost didn't come towards you because Gemini's, you can be very cutting and they already know how, they already know how you are. So whoever this person is that comes towards you, if they are a friend or a friend at a distance or a close friend, um, but it's not like that, it's platonic, they gonna make it like that because Valentine's Day is coming up and there's love in the air. So this person's feeling lovey-dovey, ooey-gooey, soft and chewy. And they're like, oh, Gemini, what about Gemini? All right, so they might be coming towards you with some type of confession to make, and you're gonna probably be like, no, it's not the right time right now, but maybe in the near future, and something like that. That's what I see. I also see here a vacation card. You will be traveling soon. For a lot of my Geminis, you're gonna get an opportunity to travel, whether that's that somebody offers you an opportunity to travel, and um, I don't see it happening right now, but I do see it in the near future. Um, this vacation, I actually want to know what time this vacation will be for some of you guys, you plan a vacation with somebody. If you're in, already in a relationship for others of you, uh, if you're single, you're going on a little vacation or a little trip or something with your girlies or your, or your, or your dudes or whatever. I don't know what dudes do. <laughs> who, who goes on a vacation with the Zaddies? <laughs> this is for y'all. Okay. But anyways, babies, Zaddies, whoever it is. Um, I do, I do feel like you're, you're taking a vacation with your homies or with your girlies. And, um, I do feel as though somebody may have something to confess to you while you're vacationing. Okay. Whether they're there at the spot that you locationed at for a temporary amount of time to enjoy a vacation, whether it's like, you know, when you go on vacation and you meet new people, whether it's that person or whether it's a person from wherever you left confessing to you while you're on vacation, like calling you up or texting you or something like that dming you and being like hey i have feelings or hey do you want to go on a date or hey i was thinking about you i'm interested da, 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 blah 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 whatever this is somebody has some type of communication to say towards you gemini's for others of you who are in a relationship i do feel as though if you're in a relationship gemini's i do feel as though there's a new beginning here you guys might get a pet if you don't get a pet that there's a new beginning of um of like a group of friends or that you guys will go on a couple retreats or something like that with people but it won't be right now like now's not the right time to do it now now's the time to stay 10 toes down you might be working a lot or this person could be working a lot to make this happen but um they want to go on vacation with you in the long run okay um they think you're the best vacation partner or companion to do this with so i do feel like your person is very much into you and they will confess that yeah it's not the right time to go on vacation now but they eventually want to okay so i do see that here if you're worried about oh will i have vacation time this year you will you'll be traveling this year 100 percent. okay <laughs> joy divine said lord i do not want to be pregnant <laughs> i'm sorry if i scared y'all i'm so sorry wow this is gonna happen faster than you think Way off in the near future, but faster than you think and in a few days and today. Okay, so I have four different Geminis here. You guys are going to see it and take it how it resonates because, like I said, this is a predictive part of the read. I said, when will you be traveling soon? For a lot of my Geminis, you will be traveling faster than you think. It's going to be for a lot of you. For others of you, it's going to be way off in the future. For others of you, it's going to be in a few days. <laughs> And for others of you, somebody's surprising you this with like today. So between today and tomorrow, the next 24 to 48 hours, you could hear some information about how your homie or your baddie want to go on a vacation or want to or has this idea to go for their birthday or has this idea for you to do it around your birthday or has this idea like we need to get away. We need a whatever. If you're a single Gemini, if you're a Gemini in a relationship, I do get that your person has been looking up flights and has been looking up like, you know, these ideas to do this now if this isn't vacation this is relocation you guys are, we're talking about house we're talking about apartment we're talking about moving in with each other if you're not moved in yet or if you guys are moved in we're talking about relocating you guys may get a house okay if you guys don't get a house it's that you relocate okay so i do see here that your person is really whether you're pregnant or not it doesn't matter the new beginning here is here to tell me that you guys will be relocating. So you guys probably already talked about moving in with each other or talked about if you're already moved in with each other, you, you've you talked about uh, moving into a bigger home or owning a home or an energy of like an apartment or doing something different, maybe, maybe moving to a different city or state. But there's some type of confession that your person wants to tell you. And I do feel like whatever this confession is, 
you're realizing it's not going to happen right now. No, it's not, the, it's not the right time to happen now because of finances or because of the situation with work or because of whatever. But in the near future, way off in the near future, yeah, you are going to have a house. So if you guys are trying to relocate city to city, state to state, country to country or something of that nature, it's going to happen faster than you think, but way off in the near future. So it could be anywhere from six to 12 months to a year from now. Okay. So just take that how it resonates. It's not going to be for all Geminis, but that's definitely a future prediction. I barely get future predictions, so definitely write that one down and save it in the archives because you might forget it. I said that, and then you're going to be watching these readings later on. You're going to be like, oh, snap, it's actually happening like a year later. So what else do we have here? What else do we have for my Gemini babies and Zannies? Thank you for the 13 out of 35 hearts. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm really trying to get those hearts up. That's my goal tonight. You know, shout out to the gang. All right, we have 117K likes and 138 shares, so run it up. Here we go. You say you're going to move in with somebody? Who said that? Maybe Gemini will be pregnant with joy and happiness. <laughs> yeah, that's the new beginning. That's what I talk about when I say new beginning, if you're not pregnant for real. Maybe a new beginning. I asked for a divorce after 13 years. <laughs> Jess, you had me cracking up. Jess said, maybe the new beginning I asked for for a divorce after 13 years. <laughs> I'm screaming. Y'all are too funny. I love y'all. Thank you for the finger hearts. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you. Anyways, here we go. What do we have for my Geminis? Or for getting Danny's and Sandy's up in the building. What do we have for my Geminis? I predicted your last pregnancy, unfortunately, miscarried due to health reasons. I'm sorry about that, Anna Hit. I'm so sorry about that. My sister had a um, miscarriage as well, too. It was uh, it was a few years ago. It was like five, six years ago. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. But now she has a beautiful baby. So with that being said, I wish you the best of abundance and a beautiful new baby, a bundle of joy. We have 20. Oh, we have house in the reverse. That's why it's not the right time right now. So for some of y'all, it's not the right time to relocate right now or they're worried about relocation. We have the house card in the reverse. So no, it's not the right time right now, but you do have a new beginning in the near future. So don't get discouraged. If you're looking at nice houses or you're looking at to relocate city to city, state to state, country to country with your person or, or just as a single Gemini, maybe you're just single, you're just looking to relocate your life. It might not just be the right time right now. Just wait a little bit because it might happen around springtime faster than you think. But you didn't give yourself a chance because you was too fixated on, oh, well, it's not going to happen now. That means it's not going to happen never. Like, Geminis, I'm going to need y'all to take several seats and calm down. Because, like, some of my Geminis, y'all go way off the deep end. Y'all overthink. So this could be a message of concern. But there's an ending of a message. Uh, there is an ending of this concern, this overthinking. For some of you guys, you're overthinking. This is overthinking to me. <sighs> For some of you, this is that communication coming towards you in abundance. See, I told you. You see how many cards it took? It could take like four months to five months for this to ban out. It could take six months. But it's going to happen. But you're like, I want my house and I need it now. I want my new beginning and I need it now. I want my pet and I need it now. Like you want something so bad and you need it now. It's either a relationship or for some of you guys, you're already in a relationship. If you don't want a relationship and you just want your own stuff, your own assets, accolades, things like that, you're like, I need this and I need it now. It's fair to say there's endings happening. There's things shifting. Can you give us a second? Can you stop demanding stuff? Can you relax? Can you have several seats? And Spirit is communicating this to you and you're all you're doing is overthinking about when. And Spirit is saying you're going to get some type of communication that comes towards you. Okay, it could be from a family member or a friend or a business partner. Or it could just be like out the blue. Like you find a way to get certain things from your uh, from your uh, expectations, either with a partner, a romantic partner or without one. You're going to get some type of communication that's going to come in as sudden wealth. So this could be anywhere between now and November. For some of you guys, this happens in the next three months. For others of you, the next five months. For others of you, it's going to happen in November. Like I said, for some of you, it's going to happen faster than you think. For others of you, it's going to be way off into the future. For some of you, it's going to be in the next few days. So, ooh, and after the next few days comes springtime. Okay, I got that card underneath the deck. I was just pulling from the bottom. But yeah, you, you have something coming up, but it's going to require a little bit of patience, Gemini. Not y'all being impatient. <laughs> y'all like that commercial. I need my money and I want it now. Child, let me get out of your energy. Let me go to Sagittarius real quick. Um, Sagittarius is y'all are coming up soon. 
All right, you guys, as I'm doing your reading, Geminis, I see 144. That's an angel number you should look up, 144. I also see 123. That's an angel number you should look up, 123. So 123 is going to have an extra um, message for you as well as 144. So I would definitely look that up. It has a lot to do with what I just said here for your um, spread. What do we have here for my Geminis? What do we have? <laughs> Not spirit being on time. We have romance on the bottom of the deck and the card that flew out <laughs> is success. That's crazy. For some of you guys, you have success in a connection and romance, singles, or if you're in a relationship. For others of you, you have success in a romantic connection that just moves on into like you guys getting a home together or you guys getting whatever it is that you want. We have success here twice. So a lot of you guys, you, you, you might not be successful in coin, but you're successful in love. For others of you, you're success, success, blah, 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 successful in coin and you become uh, successful in, in location or the assets that you want or in your life, your goals, okay? So, so for some of y'all, you have goals that have to do with location and a home. For some of you, you're going to be sharing this with a mature person, mature man or, man or woman in your life. He, she, they always welcome to my space, whatever you claim yourself as or they claim their self as. You know what I'm saying? There is this energy where I do feel like this is beautiful, like emotional maturity. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So not only is your love abundant, so is your coin. Shout out to that Gemini. It's not you winning twice. Oh, these haters on my body shake them off. <laughs> I could never lose. What you thought? <laughs> it's giving young Ma up in the building. Is young Ma a Gemini? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so here we go. This is for my Gemini's. Hopefully that resonated with you in some form or fashion when it comes to love and relationships. Um, this is going to be your romantic relationship read for my Gemini's. All right. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow at Work With Getting Baddie so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming because we do this on a daily. We'll be back here tomorrow night. You know, shout out to the gang. So pull up around me. All right, you guys. So I'm going to put these cards back in the Oracle deck and we're going to get into Sagittarius gang gang in the building. Where are my Sag baddies and daddies? Put your target emojis down in the chat. Shout out to the gang. <laughs> Drop your target emojis down in the chat stream below. Make sure if this is where we depart for a lot of you guys watching still, that you are following me here at Work Gang Daddy. Okay, you guys, it's very importante. Okay, thank you so much. All right, I appreciate y'all, for real. For Planet, keeping it real. Keeping it cool, calm and collected in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so goofy. This is why I can't have a. This is why I can't have social media because I don't know how to be professional. A lot of people have been, you know, booking personal readings, and they're like, "Oh, I'm, I can't wait to book a personal reading," and I send it to them, and I'm acting up in their reading. I'm acting up. I'm over here talking, smacking all the types of stuff, saying funny stuff, geeking, goofing off. I know they're like, "I thought this was a professional read." <laughs> Child, I'm far from professional. I'll be trying to keep it together. I'll just be laughing. The spirit says funny stuff during readings. Anyways, what do we have here for my Sagittarius, babies and Zaddies? Shout out to the gang. What do we have here for my Sagittarius, babies and Zaddies? I pull up just in time. I know that's right, Katrina. I just looked at the screen. <laughs> Big Sag energy in the chat. Big perk. Big perk. Shout out to the Sag, babies and Zaddies up in the building. All right, what do we have? I'm going to pull my pink Oracle deck cards for you guys. Let's start it off. Let's see. Let's say thank you so much for the heart. Oh my gosh, I almost have 35. Thank you so much. I have 21 out of 35, you guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Thank you so much. Ooh, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Thank you so much, Velvet. Thank you so much, Chrissy. <laughs> I love that. I love that gift because it, it just like literally kisses my zodiac board. I'm just not over that. <laughs> Let me live in my child, in my inner child, you guys. Let me live it. <laughs> what do we have for my Sagittarius, babies and Zaddies pertaining to love and romance? What do we have for my Sagittarius, babies and Zaddies when it comes to love and romance? I don't want him. That's what I just heard. I heard I heard that super loud. Who said that to somebody? You were talking to somebody or somebody was talking to you and the words that were exchanged, I don't want him. Or why does it have to be him? I don't want him. Did you meet your soulmate and you're disappointed? Uh, oh, you're in a codependent situation. For some of you guys, you're in a codependent situation. <laughs> Anyways. 
we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic love life and we also have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so something is not abundant in a connection this is going to be for a very specific few of you and then we'll switch this and we'll get more cards for other storylines but for right now i'm tapped into a group of sagittariuses that need this message there's some type of codependency you're dealing with either a pattern a behavior maybe a toxic substance that someone is indulging in or something of this nature where two people are relying on each other because they benefit from each other in a specific way it's giving toxic trait energy so i do feel like there's some some type of toxic trait between two people or that there was so you could have walked away from this or you could still be dealing with this sagittarius but take it how it resonates i do see here that um you're more focused on your finances your career right now you're not really focused on love but also you feel like this wasn't an abundant connection okay someone wasn't giving or receiving love properly in a connection which is why it ended or why it needed to end which is what spirit is saying okay somebody like i said i was channeling i don't want him or this type of energy so Spirit is telling me that like you've removed yourself from somebody or you were disappointed with whatever had happened because something was revealed that wasn't necessarily what you expected. OK, so let's see what happened for that being said. And then we'll get into another group of Sagittarius that I have messages for. All right. So let's see what happened in the connection. Why is it codependent? Why are these um, issues in abundance here? Either abundance in coin, money, uh, energy, love. Why is there a lack of abundance in these areas to this codependent situation with Sagittarius? Please show me what's going on in the connection so I can relay the messages deemed worthy for the highest good. Ashe, thank you, Spirit. Um, someone feels as though there's a part of them missing without somebody else. So they could be thinking about somebody else or a past person. Maybe you found out that they were talking or they had they were talking to a past person or someone in their past. Or they were dealing with somebody they just weren't over. They felt absent from someone's life that was outside of you guys' connection. So this is what was revealed. So someone's feelings are hurt, which makes you feel like this in return. It makes you feel like a part of yourself is missing. Because you had to lose this person to somebody else's attachment to somebody. You know what I mean? So um, if this is what's happening or if this is what you think is happening, this is your confirmation. Um, I do feel as though this person has separated themselves because they feel still emotionally or physically attached to a past person they have not healed from this so then puts you in a situation where you feel absent as well from this person or love in general you can close down your heart you could shut down you could feel like resentment in your heart you could get uh really discouraged um you could be looking at old pictures in your phone in your albums things like that all right for some of you, this wasn't this wasn't you who feels like this or who did this. This was actually this is actually them. So this is the ex trying to come back into your good graces because they realized that um, they messed up and they feel like a part of a part of them is missing without you in their life. And you're saying, I don't want you. Mm -mm, that's not it. Mm -mm. So I do see that here. We have indecisive. I know my inability to make decisions hurt you. So I do feel like someone couldn't make a decision. They dragged this relationship out way too long. And this is why it didn't work out. So there is a lot of juice. There's a lot of tea here. There's a lot of somebody having indecisive situation here between you and somebody else. So they could have been um, emotionally still attached to somebody else. You didn't find out till later. Maybe you were snooping through their phone or their devices. Or maybe they slipped up and called you somebody else's name. Or they slipped up and like said something that th that you thought you was they was doing with you and they ended up was doing with somebody else. So physically or emotionally, your past person or the person that you want to remove yourself from couldn't get over something else or someone else emotionally or physically. OK, so that's the problem. They have a codependency or an attachment to somebody or something. Um, we have destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. Yeah, this person is struggling to find the right path. They don't really know what direction they're going. I do feel like they could be doing a U-turn towards you because they feel as though a part of them is missing without you. So they want to make a decision to U-turn and come back towards you because maybe the path that they chose. For some of you who already left this person a while ago, they could be coming back towards you because they feel like the path that they chose wasn't the right choice and they want to see if you're still available and you're still open to picking up where y'all left off. It's giving unfinished business without saying unfinished business, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I, w I wish you understood how I feel. 
um, this person and you could have had disagreements that ended up getting you guys to feel separated emotionally before you guys physically separated. So this could have been emotional detachment before you guys physically ended things, okay? So this could have took a drag or a long, a long exit route to the ending, but it finally ended. Um, somebody is struggling to find themselves. Somebody doesn't know what they want or if they can even be in a committed situation or a relationship because they're indecisive or they're, they're stuck on their past. If this isn't them, Sagittarius, this is you. And this is why it didn't end. So I'm just reading you, technically. But take it how it resonates. If it's not you, it's the other person. It can be the past person. You're in no contact with them. And they're thinking about coming towards you. For some of you single Sagittarius, you have a past person who's like, you were the best thing in my life. I made stupid decisions in the past, but I'm not going to be indecisive anymore. A part of me is missing without you. And I do reflect on those disagreements. And those disagreements, I definitely take fault for, which I didn't take before. So they took a lot of space and time to think. And they do want a U-turn. Okay. They doing a U-turn or they're thinking about it. Maybe they're not doing it just yet. You know what I mean? They need more space and more time or you need more space and more time. But there's somebody here, whether it's you or them, that feels like this. So let's get the hidden truth because clearly two people are in miscommunication or two people are not communicating at all. They're in no context. So we got to see who these people are and what they want to say. Okay, whether that's you or them. What is the hidden truth here? What's not being said or what's being said? But what's the what's the the silver lining between what's being said? Because you know how it is. We got to read between the lines sometimes. So what's really being said here or not being said in the connection with Sagittarius and this person? And then we'll move on to a different part of Sag for the other readings. All right. So let's say I just wanted to get the situation out of the way because I didn't want to confuse anybody. Because I feel like this is confusing enough, right? So let's get into it. Let's see. What do we have here for the hidden truth for Sagittarius? What do we have for the situation for Sagittarius? What is the messages? Welcome in, you guys. If you are new here, please give me a follow at Orphan King Daddy so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. We're in the middle of Sagittarius's read. These are the cards that flipped over in the deck, but they're like hidden in the Oracle deck because they don't want to even pop out. So that's crazy. Um, we have, I know it was a distraction from your pain. Yeah, for some of you, Sagittarius is, you know that this person was still stuck on an ex emotionally or physically, but you were still trying to give it a chance because you felt like you had something strong enough in order for you guys to work out. But the fact of the matter is they still didn't get over this person and this just ended the connection. Um, you realize that you were a distraction from their pain. Okay. Yeah. The only reason why you guys stay together is because of the attraction between the two of you. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of energy between the two of you. There's probably a lot of toxic trait characteristics that kept you guys around. So I do feel like um, this attraction could have definitely been in a way where it was like, oh, I'm attracted to you physically, but I'm also attracted to your toxic trait because it matches mine. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody else feels as though I messed up everything. They, they know they messed up everything. For some of you, this person from the past wants to come back, Sagittarius, and tell you that they messed up everything. They know this now because they have these experiences and love elsewhere and it's not working out in those relationships. So they realize everything that you were saying was true. And they also want to mask it with saying, oh, I'm becoming a better person. For some of you guys, they're going to use this to get back in your good graces. It's your choice whether or not you want to take them back. I'm just the messenger. I'm not really the decision maker. That's you. You have free will to make your own decisions. But this person definitely says that they're becoming a better person. I believe that they're definitely healing, but I don't think they're ready yet for you. That's my honest opinion. But I do feel like this person needs a little bit more time in order to realize like what a commitment is and in order for them to be in a better space and have more time uh, to heal and that rather than just heal for like a few little months or a few weeks or something like that and come back at, and come back towards you they just they just feel the absence like they feel like a part of them is missing without you they got to find that part of them within their self before they come back to you because if they come back to you too soon they're going to be like oh a part of me is missing without you and they're gonna be like oh really that's so sweet and then you take them back and they're going to be like oh you know what I mean? They're going to expect you to be that person to fill the void, but they actually have to do this for themselves. That's their challenge. They don't see that. So what they the only thing they see is that I'm becoming a better person. I messed things up. I feel like everything's missing without you, but you got to find out that for yourself. You can't expect nobody else to to fill the void. You know what I'm saying? I hope you understand what I'm saying because these people will be trying it. Um, and Spirit is saying there's, an, there's, there's a lot more healing to do individually in separation my life is not together as it seems this is what the person wants to say and there is you were the best thing in my life see i told you this person feels as though there's a part of them missing without you or you feel about this towards them um 
But yeah, that's what's not being said in the connection. Whether or not they actually come forth and say that or whether or not they've said something like that already. This is your double confirmation. Um, let's get into the other messages of Sagittarius. Let's see what else comes out. If there's other messages here for my Sagittarius babies and daddies. And then we'll move on to Virgos after this. So we're still in Sagittarius. I'm just going to switch up the vibes in order to get more messages for others who are interested. Because I feel like that was just like a specific situation. All right, so let's say, let's say, all right, what do we have for my Sagittarius, Gaddies, and Zaddies? What are the other messages additionally to anybody else in the collective who needs to hear a message today for my Sagittarius before we move on to Virgo, please? And thank you, Spirit, Ashe, and Sodine. What do we have for soulmate? So for others of my Sagittarius, you either are with a soulmate or you are about to meet a soulmate. For a lot of you who have ended something, you're about to meet a soulmate because you've done the healing work or you took time to really put yourself first. For a lot of you guys, you did self-love and self-care routines. So I do see soulmate here coming out. It's the only card that came out and it's really, really beautiful. That means that you did a lot of the work on yourself. Whether or not you're fully healed, it doesn't matter. It's about you doing the healing work and knowing yourself, knowing your worth. And it's about you not settling and for going for something that you is going to make you joyful and happy. I feel like whoever this person is, they're definitely a person who has worked on themselves as well and they're going to meet you halfway. Can you meet me halfway? This is given that. I don't know who listens to that song, but it's definitely given that. Bottom of the deck here, it is safe for you to love. Open up your heart and give and receive the highest love of all. I do feel like you you released a lot of resentment in your heart, Sagittarius. Okay, so I do feel as though you're going to meet a soulmate or there's going to be somebody who's your energetic vibrational match. And this person is going to be safe for you to love. For some of you guys, you're already in this relationship. You know who I'm talking about. For others of you who are single, you have not met this person yet. They're coming this year. Ashe, and so it is. Aw, thank you, Sandra, for the swan. That was so pretty. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning back to your life. This is going to be somebody who you definitely had history with or you definitely known as a really deep friend or you definitely didn't give a chance to in the past. It's somebody who you kind of passed up. For some of you guys, you know who this person is, but you guys never actually got into a relationship. Okay, so this is going to be for a lot of my Sagittariuses who never got into a relationship with this person. Maybe you ghosted them, they ghosted you. You guys were young-minded. You guys didn't really know like what was going on in the dating scene. You guys were single. You didn't know what you really wanted. They didn't know what they really wanted. And it wasn't nothing that was like, you know, it was serious. It was very much casual or very much, you know, pushed to the side. Um, for some of you guys, this is going to be a friend. This is going to be a friend you consider only a homie. This person is going to be your soulmate, okay? So you, it's your choice whether or not you want to get with this person. Um, but I don't feel like you're going to ruin a friendship. I do feel like you guys are going to work out because you guys have a solid friendship. And friendship is the foundation of a long-lasting love connection. This person is your soulmate. This person is safe for you to love. This is a person that you probably don't even want to be with. That's the funny part. So... <laughs> the funny part is this person is probably at a distance from you or lives at a distance from you or works at a distance from you, whether that's on the other side of the country or whether that's uh, a state away or a couple hours away. But it's so funny because like I feel like whoever this person is, it's interesting because you're like, I don't really want this person. I didn't know it was going to be them. Ew. Like for some of you guys, you weren't interested in whoever this was, but they're going to show you why you should be. Divine energy is going to show you why you should be interested in this person because this person is a soulmate and you've been passing them up for a long time. You've been trying to ignore your, your intuition. All right. I do feel like uh, for a, a small group of you Sagittarius, that connection that I talked about earlier, the hidden truths, I do feel like whoever this person you've been separated from or at a distance from, um, that it didn't work out in the past, I do get that you guys are going to reconcile and you're going to feel like it's more secure now than before. For some of you, you will choose that. But for others of you, you know who this person is and you never got into a relationship. You're going to try it out. And it's actually going to be really, really great. Okay. Um, I do feel like it's going to it's gonna mend the distance between the two of you. And it's going to help you guys get to know each other better on a deeper level. This is going to be a new love relationship. We have new love here. A person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have new love here. This person is new. All right. Like I said, it's a new connection, but it's reconciliation because um, reconciliation is saying that you are mending the distance between the two of you. So a lot of a lot of you, you didn't know who this person it was or their intention when you guys were just in the talking phase or casually like seeing each other or maybe you knew each other from, you know, through friends, but you never actually thought about being each other's romantic partners. So it is safe for you to love this person and you guys might be like mending the distance to get to know each other on a deeper level and go on dates finally. 
if you've never been on dates. For some of you guys, you, you've already been on dates with this person, but it's like friend zone only. It's so cute because like I feel like you always thought of this person as a friend, but they've been the soulmate the whole time. It's like it's like a romantic movie. It's like one of those romantic movies where this person was a soulmate the whole time and you guys missed out on it. And you guys didn't know until it's serendipitous just just like happened to work out serendipitously. So that's what I see here. Can we get some advice from our angels for these both of these situations? The one that I spoke about before and also the one that's in front of me right now before we move on to Virgo. Can we get some extra information and insight to both of these situations? Thank you, Spirit. I say. Here we go. Oh, there's a card flipped over, kind of hiding in the deck. Be assertive. Show your true self, Sagittarius, or somebody's about to show their true self to you, okay? We have somebody who is assertive, somebody who is authentic to themselves. That is your general message. That is your general, like, message for both of the, the readings that I did for you. The one in the beginning about the unrequited love and then this one about the soulmate. Your your energy here is to be your authentic self. Somebody likes you for you or wants you to be you or that you are being bold enough to be in this energy if you're walking away from a connection. Spirit says don't stop. You're in the right direction. Whichever reading you, per, you uh, resonated with and definitely your manifestations are coming to fruition because they've already been heard and answered. So now it all depends on you. Okay, so I feel like it depends on you to take action towards this, but this is what's happening in the connection for both of you, if you want it. So that's what I'm seeing here for my Sagittarius ladies and ladies. Hopefully you resonate with the read and like the reading today. All right, you guys, this will be reposted to the YT at Oracle Gang Daddy. If you don't know what YT is, my moderator will put it in the chat for you guys so you can subscribe over there and rewatch the reads. Thank you so much. So we're tapping out of Sagittarius. We're going to go into Virgo's energy. So welcome in. Welcome in to all my Virgo babies and Zaddies up in the building. Make sure you're following me here at Oracle Gang Betty. So you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. I do this on a daily. So put up on me. I never skip. No, I skip. <laughs> I'm screaming. I skip sometimes. <laughs> Don't judge me. But anyways, drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. <laughs> Let me know you're ready for the read, you guys. We're about to get tapped in. Thank you so much. Welcome into all my newbies, my OGs, and my in-betweens. All right? So for my newbies, definitely give me a follow. For my OGs, run up those shares and those likes. You already know what to do. Pull up around me and drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream if we're working on yours and you're waiting for the read. We're on Virgos right now. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Anybody can watch this reading. You guys, if you would like to book a love reading, I do have personal love readings right now on sale for $50. They're going to be a 30-minute love reading sent to you via email with a private link to your video all right so it's going to be $50 for a 30 minute love reading they're on sale between now and Valentine's Day so I'm just letting y'all know so you don't miss that window of time all right the only way to book that's this uh special on this personal reading is through my website at oraclegangbaddy.com oraclegangbaddy.com all right you guys so just make sure you're not getting scammed out in them straights all right because there's a lot of scammers on TikTok trying to be me it's so annoying but I'm trying to ignore it mm-hmm but it be getting to you, girl. All right, you guys. So definitely tap in. Drop them zodiac signs down in the chat. I see all my Virgos ready for the read. So let's tap in. Let's get it. All right. So let's see. What do we have for my Virgo babies and daddies in the building? What do we have for my Virgos? I was feeling a little rusty today. I was feeling like I wasn't connected to these readings. Not y'all getting the same card. Oh, it's mixed with a different card, though. I was like, I just I just shuffled this deck. Not y'all getting the same card. So soulmate is, a, is attached to retreat. We have new love on the bottom of the deck. And we also have separation. Wow. Not you. Wait, so are you dealing with a Sagittarius? Okay, wait, hold on. Back up. Reel it back. Virgos, you could be dealing with a Sag. Sag, you could be dealing with a Virgo. If you guys want to rewatch these readings when we put it on the YouTube, I would suggest watching each other's readings and see if you resonate with any other additional messages because there could be extra little clues or additional messages or puzzle pieces in each one of these readings. They are connected and tied somehow. Sagittarius, you probably have Virgo in your chart or Virgos, you have Sagittarius in your chart. You have fire, earth, energy in your chart. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or Virgos, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. But like I said, there's some type of information here coming through. It's very interesting. It's very similar to the Sag reading. Very similar. Anyways, take that how it resonates. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We also have retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have... Um, 
let go of control issues, okay? And we'll get into that in a second because I saw it, but I just want to talk about these four right now. So we do have, um, for some of y'all, Virgos, you're in a relationship where you feel like you're with your soulmate and you guys are taking time to like really put more into the connection and not so much on social media or not so much like out in the outside world. You guys are really going into hermit mode, being in each other's energy and enjoying each other, okay? I do feel like this is like that new love, that rekindling energy, like new love or um like a renewal in a connection if you guys been together for a while i do see the renewal here in the connection but there is this energy where i do feel like this is bringing like love to the situation after feeling um emotionally distant for some of you guys you are feeling like someone's being distant in the connection for some of my virgos for others of you you were emotionally distant so this is mending the connection by being in this energy for some of my virgos you're on and off with somebody they're a soulmate but it's like you guys go into hermit mode away from each other and then you go into love and then you go into hermit mode it's like when it's on it's on when it's off it's off when it's on it's on when it's off it's off so i don't know if you physically separate from each other but you could just emotionally get distant from each other and need your own space you guys might live underneath the same roof or the same house um, for others of you, maybe you just feel smothered by this person or this person feels smothered by you certain times. And then they, at other times they're so lovey, dovey, ooey, gooey, soft and chewy. You're like, who is this person? So I do see this here kind of like being on and off or flip flopping between the two emotions very heavily. So if you're dealing with that, then we're definitely in your energy. All right. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And deception. Someone who's wearing a false mask in this relationship. So I do feel as though someone could be um, trying to uh, trying to let things unfold naturally. So I'm getting multiple uh, relationship situationships here. So we have, I'm going to go through each one so everybody doesn't get confused. So we have a soulmate here that you're in a connection with or a, lovey, a lover's connection that I feel like you're going into hermit mode with to get into a new connection. Um, you're not interested in the soulmate connection because you want to try out new love. But what happens is when you try out new love, it goes into separation or it doesn't actually work out here. So you want to go back to your soulmate or you want to apologize about this or you want to, I don't know if you physically leave this connection or if you emotionally just start talking to somebody else over the phone or you just get distracted because we have deception here. So you could have been distracting yourself from the connection because you want to see what else is out there for you. Um, if that's not you, that's this other person that you're dealing with, okay? That's your person that you're dealing with is doing this. They want to find new love elsewhere or they want to see what, what they got going on somewhere else. So allow the situation to unfold naturally. For some of you guys, you're, you're, you're trying to control the situation to go in your favor or you want to speak up on this or you don't feel comfortable with this. Um, so you're trying to control getting back together with the soulmate energy or you're trying to communicate to your soulmate like this isn't cool you can't just be on and off like you have to you have to choose commitment or not for others of you this now let's get the other scenario for others of my virgos you're in a connection that you guys retreat together kind of away from the world you you're not on social media a lot you don't really watch the news you're not really attentive to the radios you're kind of just like in your own world with this person i do feel like it it allows new love to come in or allows you guys to be spending a lot of quality time together um, or it allows you to be in the true energy of love, okay? With this energy, I do feel like you guys could feel like you need your own space or you feel as though um, there's some type of emotional separation. Um, for others of you, this is going to be a separation or a stop in romantic, uh, romantic SEX between the two of you guys because you're around each other a lot. So in the beginning, this was great, but you, somebody's feeling like this. I don't know if it's you or your person, but somebody's feeling like this. Like um, they want a little bit of space, but they don't know how to say it. So they're trying to allow the situation to unfold naturally, but they feel like they're being fake in the connection. Somebody wants SEX at night and the other person doesn't, but someone doesn't say something. And so somebody is wearing a false mask or they're not being their true self or they're not saying like, we spend too much time together. Can we have a little bit of space? Can we do something else? Um, someone's kind of in the energy of this. I'm also getting another scenario. So let me go to another one before we move on to the next Oracle deck. Um, I'm also getting that you guys have dealt with a soulmate. I feel like you guys might be kind of emotionally separated from this person, whoever you're with, or you dealt with this as a past person for my single Virgos. You are finding new love, but you're finding that 
a lot of the new love that you find is definitely deceptive. I do feel like a lot of the new love that you find uh, is disappointing. Um, there's not many choices out there for you. You're feeling like a lot of people lie about certain things about themselves or they're not wearing like their authentic self. They're wearing a fake version of themselves. And so you're trying to let go of this uh, idea of love. For some of you guys, you want to let go of this idea of love. You don't think it's going to happen for you because you just keep running into this energy. But the question is, are you being authentic to yourself and what you really want? Because for some of you, you want a commitment, but you left this commitment to go towards new love only to realize that it's going to be this. And this isn't what you actually wanted in the begin with. Like you don't want commitment if you can if you can't even hold the commitment respectfully with yourself or that person. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is you, and I'm talking to you, Virgo. For others of you, this is the person who left you. So take it how it resonates. You can be on the other foot. I say that it's you because it's your reading. But if you feel like this is the other person, how they treated you, then that's gonna be the confirmation for you. Okay, you guys. So let's get some more messages here. we go what do we have for my virgo babies and babies up in the building what do we have for my virgos okay let's see what do we have for my virgos okay what do we have at the bottom there's a new relationship this new love keeps coming i don't know for my virgos what you got going on but you might be going on a new journey when it comes to love I get two messages. There's a renewal and the connection you're already in that's loving after separation. Or that most of you, which I think most of you, are going to be embarking on new love because you go on a journey. Someone, someone finds out that somebody is being false. Someone finds out that somebody lied about something. It doesn't come out till a little later. Um, that's a prediction. I don't know if that already happened, but for some of you, it probably did. But for others of you, you don't know. Something is revealed here when it comes to a romantic connection. And you end up going towards new love because you just feel like, wow, I should have known this. It was at a distance. Whatever you found out is not at a distance anymore. It's about to happen within the next three to six days, three to six weeks. And it's going to make you make a quick decision. You're not going to be indecisive about this. You see how the courthouse is here? You're not going to be indecisive about this. You're not going to be none of that. You're going to make the quick decision to remove yourself from whoever this is, male or female. This is telling me, Virgo, that you're dealing with somebody, whether it's casual or committed in a relationship, that you're going to make a quick decision to say, uh-uh, no thank you, no thanks. I want to go towards new love, and I'm going to make that journey. I'm going to take the train elsewhere. Because you should have showed up the way you showed up and you lied to me and you had the chance to say this and you lied and you showed a false version of yourself. I thought you were my soulmate. I thought we were supposed to be together forever. Um, and then it's not. So you're releasing somebody who's soon about to be your ex. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Somebody's about to be your ex. For others of you, you already did this. So I'm talking about something you already did. But in the new love situationship or the new love situation you're going to be in, you're going to have a hard time releasing your ex because you because you still have feelings tied to this. For some of you, it's too fresh for you to be getting into another connection. You're going to be holding resentment in your heart. Or you're going to feel anxious because you're going to think that everybody's lying about something or that you have to expect somebody to lie to you about something. For some of my burdens, not all. All right, so that's what I'm getting so far. So let's clear this out. Let's get into the Cosmic Insights Oracle deck. All right, and see what's going on there for my Virgo babies and deities. Yeah, for some of you, you're going to be surprised that this person lied to you. You're going to be like, what? It's not even like you to lie. You're going to be like, what? <laughs> for some of you guys, you already did this. This already happened. For others of you, this is not going to happen. You're going to be fine. <laughs> But like I said, if you feel like it resonates or it will resonate, most chances are it, it is. It's your message. But for others of you, don't make the shoe fit if it's not yours. You didn't put Cinderella's shoe on knowing that it was size 5 if you were size 8. So don't do it. 
Virgos, we come out with your energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign or you could just have more earth sign placements in your chart. Double confirmation. But someone has a confession to tell you about things getting serious and commitment. All right. So I'm getting two messages. Something has serious. Somebody has something serious to tell you or you have something serious to tell somebody else about the commitment that you guys have. It's with your energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy here. We have Virgo earth sign energy here. For others of you who are in a connection, I do feel as though you're in a beautiful connection and somebody wants to pop the question, but they're asking their friends for advice because things are getting serious and they don't have money to get the ring or they don't know how to how to go about a proposal, okay? So somebody is definitely going to want to propose something to you, whether that's a marriage or to be a boyfriend and girlfriend or to just confess their cup of love maybe it's not that serious but things are getting serious with whoever this person is wanting to approach you for some of you virgos this is how you feel about somebody so you'll be approaching somebody very soon to confess that you want a committed relationship with this person of some sort so you're going to pour your cup of love out bottom of the deck experience a breakup i do feel as though for some of you for others of you virgos you're going to be confessing that things are getting serious and that you guys need to, to separate. So for my courthouse card in the reverse, this is the decision that I was telling you about. The decision you, you guys are making to go from commitment to a divorce and the flick of a switch and the snap of a finger. Because whatever it is that you found out, whether it was from he or she or they, or whether it was through a text message or a phone call, or whether it was through a device, or whether it was through a, a call log or a DM or social media, you realize that this isn't something that you thought it was and you take your you take your serious commit committal energy somewhere else because you realize whatever it is you're going to be splitting up or breaking up with the person whether that's divorce or whether that's breaking up like a boyfriend girlfriend situation okay because somebody was just using you for your time your energy your coin um and maybe you didn't know this um maybe they didn't intentionally use you but they definitely used you for or were infatuated, infatuated with you, or used you for other things, okay? But you're going to feel used, you're going to feel like this isn't even right, or you're going to feel like they used somebody else, maybe this is a third party situation, actually, let's find out, because I have that card here, let's just find out, let's get to the nitty gritty, we ain't got no time to waste, there's a lot of tea on the table, all right, it's not going to resonate with everybody, this is a specific read for somebody, so like I said, please don't take this if it's not yours. Holding back, I should have expressed myself better. Somebody lied or somebody didn't say everything, so it's revealed. Somebody didn't say everything, it's revealed. It's either you or another person. Missed opportunity, I didn't act when I should have. It has to do with like some type of communication. Somebody has a missed opportunity or something uh, gets separated because either you didn't say everything, Virgo, or your person didn't say everything. And somebody finds out, somebody's upset, somebody breaks up. They said that you a liar or that you're selling them that they're a liar. Understanding. I see your side of the story. You guys may understand each other's side of the story and mend things. So something that was supposed to be a breakup ends up being another date night between the two of you. So um, this ends up happening again. There's water sign energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy on the bottom of the deck here. So I do see a reunion after some type of discussion. But for others of you, there isn't going to be a reunion. It's just going to go separate ways. There's going to be an understanding that goes separate ways. I see your side of the story, but it ain't going to work out um, because you was doing this, that, and the third telling me one thing, but you was doing another thing or you didn't tell me everything. So there is this information like honesty is the best policy. That was kind of like the, the um, energy or the agreement, whether it was said or not. And that was the energy of the connection or the relationship. And somebody doesn't uh, fulfill that need. So somebody takes it really hard. I get Virgos that you might take this really hard. Um, it's going to be challenging to see if you should stay in the connection or not. Yeah. You could have water sign in your chart or you could be dealing with another water sign. You could have earth sign placements, other earth sign placements in your chart, or you could be dealing with an earth sign. So I get like earth sign energy towards Virgo Capricorn. I get Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. So that's going to be my reading for my Virgo babies and Zandies. Take that how it resonates, you guys. It's definitely a very specific message for those groups who needed to hear it. So I hope it resonated with you guys. If it didn't, check out my other readings on my YouTube at Oracle Gang Bandy. 
because there's other readings on there that do resonate and they're timeless, okay? So just make sure that if you do rewatch a reading, just know that it doesn't really actually start playing out for you until a month or three months later, all right? So a lot of you guys, there's predictions in those reads that won't play out till months later. I get like spring and summertime energy. So you can rewatch the readings, you guys. They're not time specific is what i'm basically trying to say but thank you guys for the love and the likes and the shares you know thank you so much i appreciate each and every one of y'all for sending me those hearts they're so cute thank you we're getting into aries energy in just a moment let me actually cross out virgos and we're gonna tap in so aries drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below i see my chat going crazy on them shout out to the gang thank you so much all right, you guys, if this is where we depart, make sure you're following me here at Oracle Gang Baddie on TikTok. So that way you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. We have Jamie up in the building sending me those heart puffs. Thank you so much. We have 26 out of 35 hearts, you guys. So send those to me. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. It's really cute. Aries gang gang in the building. Shout out to the gang. We have 171K likes and 181 shares. Yeah, shout out to the gang for sending me the heart. Who sent me that? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Steph. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you, Marissa. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, Steph. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate all the love and the likes and the shares and the gifty gifts. Shout out to the gang. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, it was Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie sending me all those beautiful, those beautiful hearts. Jesse E and Kiki. I know that's right. So welcome in, you guys. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Aries, singles or relationships. Aries, singles or relationships. What do we have for my singles or relationships for Aries? The relationships closest to them. What do we have for my singles or relationships, Aries? Shout out to the gang. Supreme, thank you for the heart. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh, I think I have 30 out of 35. I only need five more. Mm. <laughs> thank you so much for the love. Mm. Oh, I feel like the readings are really specific tonight. Worth waiting for. Separation. Yeah. Ugh. What is this? Um, okay. I wasn't expecting that. For a lot of my areas, you might not be expecting the outcome of something or you didn't in the past. Past or present, but take it how it resonates. Aries, babies, and zaddies, this is for you. Heart to heart conversations. I do feel like that as though for some of my areas, you don't want to talk to somebody or somebody is in no contact with you. So somebody can't reach out to you. This is either a past person or a person that you're dealing with right now. Somebody is in no contact with you or that you don't want to talk to them. Maybe they're blocked. Maybe you want to reach out to them. They're ignoring you. There's some ghosting here or there's some distance in communication. So take that how it resonates. I do feel like this person, um, they're someone who you didn't necessarily have long history with necessarily for some of you. For others of you, it's a karmic cycle. So um, I do feel like this is a karmic cycle for some of you guys. You know that you were on and off with this person. It was kind of always bound to happen. Um, for others of you, this isn't a karmic cycle. This is just a fresh relationship. But you've seen it going places, but then you're like, oh, and you got disappointed. You know what I just heard? And I hate throwing around the, the name Twin Flame. But I just heard that for some of you guys, this could be a Twin Flame situation. Spirit just told me it's not a karmic cycle. It's their Twin Flame. They were dealing with somebody who they can't talk to anymore because... Their twin flame don't know how to step up to the plate. So we're about to send Aries a soulmate. <laughs> not spirit coming through. Savage. Classy, bougie, wretched. Yes, they did. All right. So at the bottom here, um, we have um, stay optimistic about your love life in the reverse. I do feel like you're not optimistic about this situation or this person coming back. Even if they did come back, you wouldn't take them. You're taking your flowers. You're going to buy yourself flowers elsewhere. It's giving Miley Cyrus. I will buy myself flowers. It's giving that. Yes. You're going to do for you now. And you're going to take your blessings elsewhere. You're probably going to be out and about. And you're going to get approached by somebody. Mm -hmm. What's worth waiting for is a new a new relationship. A high, see, I knew it. I knew it. It's a new relationship because we have divine timing at work in your love life. This is wild. Look at this. 
On the bottom of the deck here, we have engagement. Oh, man, if I could grab the whole Oracle deck, these nails. Um, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel as though you're about to get a replacement for the twin flame situation you were in or for the soulmate who couldn't step up to the plate. Wow. So Spirit said, we about to give you somebody who's going to give you that home run because somebody only went to third base. Somebody went to, to first base and said they got sick or they got tired or they didn't want to play the game anymore. Oh, that's so... Uh. Like, that's what it's giving. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but like, this person has a lot of healing to do. And this person probably puts you through mess, through messiness. I get drama or mess or uncertainties. And so Spirit is saying, look, listen, don't wait for this person. What's worth waiting for is in the near future. You're about, we're about to send you to a higher level of commitment. We already reassigned somebody. We erased the signature from this soulmate or whoever this person was supposed to be to you. We erased their name, their name at, at, out of the divine contract of being with you. And we have a new name that signed their name on the contract to be with you. And they're about to pull up on you, okay? They're going to see you really attractive, we have you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This person is going to be super attracted to you. Like I said, you might get noticed by somebody else. I said this before this card came up because I just knew it. I felt it. I feel like for some of you guys, you feel like a new connection coming up, but you might still be worried about this person who you're separated from coming back and distracting you from your highest moment or distracting you from your soulmate moment. They probably will, but that's how you know you met your soulmate is when you're talking to somebody else. Boom. Boom higher level of commitment comes in as soon as you're talking to somebody else and attracted to somebody else this is when the ex comes back or this old memory of them so emotions will come back or they physically come back but whatever this whatever this energy is um spirit says that you're protected from them or that you're being guided to just ignore them because they have a lot of healing to do that you aren't supposed to be doing i get that for some of you guys this person was gaslighting what is that Somebody was gaslighting an Aries or making them feel bad about something or making them feel in debt to like always showing up for them. What the? Oh, my God. I'm rubbing my face right now because I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, so somebody was like gaslighting or some type of like um, bipolar energy here. I don't know what this was. I don't know why it feels like that. But in this in this area, it just feels wrong. It feels like, ew. And so there's this energy of like separation. So you're thinking about this person and separated from them, but you're a little worried that they'll come back or they'll, they'll find a way to communicate to you. I don't know if this person's going to reach out through a text message. If they're blocked from your phone, maybe they'll email you. If they're blocked from emails, maybe they'll try and DM you or reach out to a mutual family member or friend. Like, it's not that this person's crazy, although they might be, because if somebody doesn't get the memo, I'm going to need them to get the memo child deception somebody who's wearing a mask in the in a false mask in this relationship yeah it's the person who you're separated from yeah so what's worth waiting for is an engagement after separation and deception you're going to have somebody who's the opposite of this energy come into your energy after dealing with something like this for a lot of my aries this could be something that has already passed who's the opposite of this energy come into your energy after dealing with something like this for a lot of my aries this could be something that has already passed. For some of you guys, this is going to be that past energy where I do feel like like they're going to come back towards you. All right. And they're just going to try to get trying to communicate with you somehow. For others of you, this is going to be. Um, anyways, you guys know what I'm saying. I'm going to get off this because I feel like I'm wasting time talking about it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I lost my train of thought, too, because my alarm went off. But anyways. That alarms go off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That alarm went off for a reason. There's some there's some reason why that alarm went off. I know that's right. Anyways, here we go. What do we have here for my Aries? For some of you guys, this already happened. This is in the past. For others of you, you're going through this right now. Okay. We have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Somebody's gonna want to communicate with you to forgive and work it out and compromise something in a relationship. Aries, you're not interested. This person is spying on you heavy. Like I said, it's giving restraining order. It's giving stalker. It's giving, am I going to have to proceed with caution? Like I said, this person is going to find any and all ways to get back in contact with you. Like I said, this person is a gaslighter, a narcissist type energy or something. Because it's giving like 
this relationship was karmic or it's giving like they used to be a twin flame and they had an awakening but it's not working and you're just moving in towards new love and you don't want to deal with this deception while you're in this new relationship because this new relationship is going to be going well or for some of my areas you have a new relationship and it is going well but you're dealing with someone who is deceptive of the past who you're already separated from and your person that you're talking to now is worried about them and you're like please don't worry about this person please don't like this person means nothing like i'm not doing nothing with them and it's ruining the connection you need to block this person by all means but also if it's not happening right now for some of my aries uh for some of you guys you're single but when you meet your new person who you who you will be in a connection with that's really good for you and divine timing i do feel like whoever you separated from is definitely going to be deceptive to try and play you out of your position or trying to distract you from new love or that you'll get into this new loving connection and this person will definitely come out of the woodwork and be like, hey, how you been doing? And you're like, what? How did you get my information? I blocked my number. Like, what? Health issues can arise. Yeah, this person is toxic. They find ways to get in contact with you. This almost feels abusive, like verbally, emotionally, or physically. I don't know what this is, but I don't want to be in this energy too long. But I do want to convey the messages that somebody is definitely looking at you from a distance. They're going to want to communicate in the near future, whether they communicate it now or they're going to do it later. But you're already in a new connection or you have new love here. But for some reason, this new love who is attracted to you is going to be um, concerned about whoever it is that's trying to ask for forgiveness, ask you for forgiveness and get back into your life. They're going to be a little bit concerned about this person because they're like, I don't know your intentions with them. I don't know if you still have feelings with them or for them. I don't know if you guys have been doing this behind my back. Like this person is going to feel some type of way. OK, you could be dating an, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn of the past. This could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn of the past. The person that I'm talking about who's spying from a distance. Or this could be the new the new relationship that you gain. A Taurus Virgo Capricorn Earth sign energy that. We have earth and fire. Whoa, that was crazy. That's on the other side of the deck. Chop. What this is. So either your ex is an Aries Leo Sag or your new person is an Aries Leo Sag. Your ex is a is an earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or your new person is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Whether you're with this person already or you have yet to meet this person, whoever this new person is, they're going to be concerned about the past person and what you have ties to. Mm -mm. what does this ex want child not them trying to ruin a connection you want to block them because they're not going to ruin aries engagement for some of y'all this is a beautiful connection that you guys have now or that you will have and they're not going to mess with my aries gang no they're not so spirit please tell me what do they have to say that aries can look out for child i ain't got time for this now this is aries anyways I left when I saw you with somebody. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're in a connection with somebody already and they are going to leave. This past person is going to leave you alone, thank God, but then they might come back in the woodwork. They're going to be like, oh yeah, I left when I saw you moving on, but I couldn't stop thinking about you and I regretted the things that happened and blah, blah, blah. What? Child, if you don't go find healing somewhere else and then get somebody else who want to deal with you, because... <laughs> I'm getting some of my Aries. They're not. They're not doing it. I regretted lying to you. They're they're up having sleepless nights because they regret lying to you and being deceptive. They regret it because they didn't find nobody else like you or they didn't realize what they had until you were gone or that they're just upset because you're with somebody else. You moved on with your life. Take it out. Resonates. What is on the bottom of the deck here? I'm not available. Yeah, they're still not available. They just want to be they just want to be in your life somehow. Can we be friends? That's given. Can we be friends energy? No, you're going to tell them you're not available because they're not available. They're going to say, I love you unconditionally. You were the love of my life. They probably told you that so many times to keep you around in the connection. <laughs> it's giving Libra vibes uh, for some of you, you dealt with a Libra. It's like they're trying to get justice served in their favor, but they don't know how, how justice works because they're trying to control uh, they're they're trying to control uh, fate or karma to work in their favor, but that's not how it works. This person's Delulu. Oh my god, I need to get out of this energy. These readings tonight are really weird. Like I might not do readings tomorrow night because what the? I didn't sign up for this. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do readings tomorrow night. But anyways, it's crazy. What do we got here for my Aries? What's the advice? And then we'll move on to Taurus. 
<laughs> Here we go. Your advice is to listen to your intuition. If you're supposed to remove yourself from a situation or connection, remove yourself. It doesn't matter if you're married to the person, have kids or whatever. Remove yourself safely because this person doesn't feel safe. And this person should feel safe. You should always feel safe and secure and joyful and happy in a connection. If you don't feel like that and you feel like there are things that you can work out, then you guys work it out mutually. But if you feel like there is no working this out and somebody is definitely controlling here, mm -mm, it's time to expire the connection. It's time to get out. It's time to move on. You need to get you need to get people to help you to end this. OK, because you have your blessings elsewhere. Listen to your intuition. For some of you guys, you have blessings elsewhere. You have relationships elsewhere that are going to bring you big, happy changes. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you this isn't big and happy and changing your life in the positive, then you have big, happy changes elsewhere. So this is a yes. So for those of you looking for a yes, move on. Yes, you have big, happy changes elsewhere. Yes, you do have another soulmate elsewhere. Yes, this person didn't um, step up to the plate so they're being replaced by another soulmate. Yes, it's in your intuition to leave. Yes, 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 yes. Y-E-S. If y'all don't do it, y'all just going to be stuck in another karmic cycle, stuck being unhappy, and misery loves company. So you're going to surround yourself with other people who are miserable. So... Sorry, I got to keep it real. You guys come to the reads for a reason. So I'm not going to tell you a lie. All right. So um, this is your reading, Aries. Hopefully it resonated with the majority of you or you guys took at least one message from this, if not all. For some of you, it wasn't your message and that's okay. So you guys can check out my other readings on YouTube at Oracle Game Daddy. All right. You guys give those uh, those videos some views, but also at the same time, um, besides giving those videos some views, you can also watch any one of those other videos because they can resonate at any time because all my readings are timeless, okay? So, with that being said, this is going to be the Aries Gang Gang in the building. All right, for my Taurus Baddies and Zaddies, you guys are up next. Eww, shout out to the gang. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Bay, for the hearts and the fireballs and the roses lucrative. Thank you so much. I have one more heart to get. Oh my gosh, that was quick. All right, so I'm going to cleanse the energies from this space. And we're going to tap into Aries, um, I'm sorry, Taurus, gang, gang, and a billion Taurus messages. Wow, these readings tonight are very specific. I feel like they're not meant to resonate with everybody. They're only meant for like specific, because they almost don't feel, they feel brand new. They don't feel like the repetition that I'm used to saying or the, the storylines I'm used to kind of like giving. I don't know what people are going through. There's something in the cosmos happening. It has to be. It has to be. Does anybody else feel like something's off today? Maybe I just fell off. Maybe I feel like I took a long break from the live streams. Thank you, Lola, for the heart puff. Thank you so much, you guys. Hello, Francesca. Thank you so much, L.A. Price, for the donut. Thank you so much for the love and likes, you guys. We have, wow, we have 193 shares and 191K likes. I didn't even realize we were almost to 200. It's that full moon energy. You think so? We just had the full moon. It's the new moon. Is it the new moon? Child, I don't got time for this. It's making me feel uncomfortable. In the chat, it's making me feel uncomfortable. It's not you guys making me feel uncomfortable. It's, it's the messages making me feel uncomfortable, disconnected, avoidant, confused. It's the new moon. I'm ready for food. I need to order food. I need to order Uber Eats. Y'all be order eating? Y'all be y'all be order eating? Y'all be Uber eating? Y'all be ordering stuff, huh? Anyways, we have Taurus gang gang in the building. Taurus, we're almost to Scorpio and Cancer, y'all. We're almost to Scorpio and Cancer. Babies and Zannies in the building. We're almost there. Shout out to the gang for waiting for my Scorpios and Cancers. I appreciate y'all for being so patient. What do we have for my Taurus gang babies and Zannies up in the building? Commitment. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Who this is? Who you at? Who loving on you? Things are getting serious. For a lot of my Taurus baddies and Zaddies, I don't know if you're a Taurus Gemini cusper, you could be. But regardless of that, I do see um, for my Geminis, I mean, for my Tauruses, you could be dealing with a Gemini if you're not a Taurus uh, Gemini cusper. Um, but there is this energy regardless of the zodiac sign. Things are getting serious between you and somebody else. I do feel like there's a committed relationship here. For those of you who want a committed relationship and you're Taurus single, you're about to get a committed relationship. So, yeah, 
um, I don't know if you want this. You don't have to have a committed relationship. You have free will to say no. But somebody's very interested in you. So I don't know if y'all been talking for a while or you're not anticipating them to like pop the question like, do you want to be my boyfriend, girlfriend type energy or you know, pop the question for real, like proposal type energy, but there's something here. For some of you guys, you already got proposed to. For others of you, this commitment is like you guys kind of um, being in the energy of talking about kids or wanting to get pregnant or something like that. Maybe you're already married. For some of you guys, you're married and you're like the next level of commitment for you guys is building a family or getting the dogs or getting the house, the white picket fence, the three car garage, et cetera, et cetera, whatever it is that you want. That uh, levels up the commitment for you guys that's important to you guys. The values. You guys share values that are the same. This is cute. Ooh, this is a change. So congratulations. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. For some of you guys, you're afraid of commitment. <gasps> no way. Why would you be like that? So some of my Tauruses, you're kind of like, I'm just going to tread lightly. So these are for my Tauruses who are single, who are starting off in a commitment. Maybe you guys haven't been in a relationship or a serious type of commit committal relationship because you've been hurt in the past. Or maybe you just think that everybody ain't ish. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't ish. I'm about to mind my own business. That's what it's giving. So I see here that you guys feel like... um yeah, you guys want to find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. You don't want to put too much out there all at once. You're going to take your time. You're going to go turtle slow. You know, you're still going to be at a steady pace, but you're just going to keep, you know, you're going to keep in mind that like, you know, this is a new person. You got to get to know them. They got to get to know you and you're no, you're in no rush to tie the knot type energy. So I feel like this is a great way to be. This is healing your heart with this energy. This is healing your heart because you might have rushed into some stuff right away because you're so excited about the person. So you kind of move very quickly. For a lot of my Tauruses, you're used to moving quickly, but you've actually took your time with this. So I could be talking about something you already did, but for others of you who are single, this is something that you are about to be doing. Taking your time. Oh, it's giving John Legend. I just heard John Legend's song. Take it slow. Oh, oh, oh. this time we'll take it slow. Ah, girl, I'm in love with you. This ain't no honeymoon or the infatuation phase. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm done. I'm done screaming in everybody's ears. Sorry for the headphone users. But I'm just saying, this is very, very cute. So let it go. Let go of any resentment in your heart. Let it go. Um, let go and go with the flow. Spirit is saying, make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. Maybe you want to control the way things go. And Spirit is saying, go with the flow. Go with the flow, okay? Because this person, whoever's coming towards you is kind of serious about what's going on here. Um, or that they have a serious love offer. Maybe you don't know how serious they are. So spirit is saying, let it go. Like, let it go with the flow. Allow this person to prove it to you or show you this thing. Don't be arrogant about it. Like, you need to prove it to me. That's what OGB said. Like, don't do that. Zoms do it. <laughs> That'll get you caught up looking like a stubborn, uh, arrogant baddie. It was daddy up in the building. Just go with the flow. Just allow this person to take, take, you know, each stride, you know, towards whatever kind of commitment that they want to offer you, okay? And, you know, just flow with it. If you're not ready for it right then and there, just be like, yeah, you know, I just got out of a relationship or, yeah, you know, um, I've actually not updated for a long time. Seriously, can we actually just, like, keep talking and working on this connection? I really want to get to know you better before we make a solid commitment. Like, there's nothing wrong with saying how you feel. Just because somebody asks you to be your boyfriend or girlfriend don't mean you got to say yes right away because your your feelings are validated too and if they're the right person they're going to go with the flow right with you butterfly energy here mm -hmm. very cute i love it all right so let's see what else comes out here for some of you you're in a committed relationship and you're gonna let go of the things that you found out information on or had history with with your person for those of you who are Tauruses in a relationship I do feel like you're taking things slow in the connection whether it's marriage or before marriage like the steps before marriage or like boyfriend girlfriend or whatever wherever you're at dealing with somebody I do feel like you're gaining more information and more knowledge because you're afraid to meet a narcissist or you're afraid that this person will be a narcissist or you see narcissistic tendencies in yourself or in this person 
and you feel as though you're trying to let go of like this idea that they're going to be like that. It's almost like they're not like that. But I feel like in your mind, you're like afraid. You're naked and afraid. <laughs> yes, you're doing something because I feel like it's confusing your relationship or how you feel in the connection. It's like you're anticipating this person to break up with you or you're anticipating it not working out with this person. But Spirit is saying, let go and allow the beginning to, to, to unfold. Like stop thinking stuff is about to end because Spirit is giving me like you anticipate that. Oh, uh, I feel bad because I feel like that's what you're used to, Taurus. So you can't help but to think that way. But Spirit is saying, can we rewire your brain and your, and your heart to like make room for new things instead of being in this energy of like it's gonna it's not gonna work out oh uh, anyways here we go here we go what do we have here for my Taurus beauties and deities any other storylines that we have coming out for Taurus for those who will resonate with it or to continue the storyline we have in romance singles or relationships please and thank you spirit yeah you're calling in your soulmate here your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together. For some of you guys, you're with your soulmate. But you're like, this ain't gonna last. I'm gonna have to let go of this one day. It's weird. It's like, no. Can we make room for the new beginning and stop worrying about... Because if not, you're gonna manifest the past stuff to come towards 2024. And we already left it in the past. Because energy is fluid. It can it, you, you can call back something that happened in 2022 and 2023. And it can happen in 2024. Can we, can we heal that? Can we get over that? Can y'all stop it? That's what they're saying to you. So there is this energy. I do feel like for my singles, you're meeting a soulmate. Um, you probably manifested this person into your life. For others of you who are in a relationship, you manifested exactly what you wanted in a person. But there might be like one or two things off. So you, they might not look exactly the way you wanted them to. Or they might not have the same exact body. But they have everything that you wanted on the inside. And that's what you care about more. Or that's what you're going to realize that you care about more. Okay. Also, this person feels this way about you. I get it that it's mutual on both sides. Like they manifested their soulmate, but they didn't realize that you were going to be that person. And maybe they go for blonde people. Maybe they go for ginger. Maybe they go for brunettes. And wherever you're at in the spectrum of that, you're not that person, but they're not going to hold that to you. They're not going to hold you against that. They're going to realize that the inside matters. And yes, they are still attracted to you just because you're not that idea person. They're still attracted to you. It's not that you're ugly, you know what I'm saying? They're still attracted to you. It's just that it's a little different now, okay? For them to be like, oh, I'm not used to dating a redhead, but I do actually like this person's red hair and I do want to date them. So let's do this. And so that's what this is. You're also going to feel like this about this person. So this is mutual, beautiful energy here. I also see finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. For some of you guys, the soulmate that you call in doesn't have their finances all the way together like you would. Maybe for some of my Tauruses, you expect somebody to take care of you with coin and all that stuff. This person doesn't have all that, but they're working super hard. Look how hard this person is working and tending to their garden. They are focused on that. They are trying not to, to you know what I mean? So it's giving. That's why you take your time. You allow things to flow. You take your time, you find out more information, see what this person's intentions are. You see them working hard, they're a go-getter, or this might be how they see you. Take it out, resonate. You could be on the other foot, but let's just talk about it as if it's them. You're not holding them to this because you realize everything else they have that with them as a package is the package deal you manifested and you asked for. So just because they don't have coin don't mean the coin ain't coming. Money is printed every day. Love is rare, Okay. So you got to, you got to, you know, you got to weigh your pros and cons. You got to sacrifice something. Spirit said, they, they said, don't compromise yourself. But there are some things that can be worked out and there are some things that can get better. And for some of my Tauruses, you need to hear that. Um, we have let go of twice, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yes. Yeah. I told you spirit wants you to allow the situation to unfold naturally for some of my singles. You need to allow yourself to be in alignment, to receive a soulmate for others of you. You're with a soulmate. If they working on their finances, let them work in peace. Don't be dogging them down their neck. You know what I'm saying? They doing it. They trying. For some of you guys, this is, this is how your person feels about you. They're going to uh, let go and allow this situation to unfold. Take it how it resonates. For some of y'all, y'all not going to listen to me. You're going to be like, hurry up and get a job. <laughs> Shut up. I'm so stupid. Okay, here we go. What else do we have here? 
Catsberry, uh, Cat, Catsberry said, how do you align? Um, I wouldn't say aligning is a thing that you do. It's a, it's a peace of mind. It's like uh, not constantly always thinking about the negative and start thinking about more positive things. It's not that your your uh, feelings are invalid. It's just that feel those feelings and release them. Don't allow them to harbor resentment in your heart or in your mind. Don't allow them to linger. It's kind of like a bad fart. You know what I'm saying? When you fart and the fart lingers, that's what being out of alignment is. It's a bad fart. You know what I'm saying? You just keep thinking about bad energy and bad things and oh, oh, oh it's me and everything's bad, bad, bad. Find the positive even in the bad moments, even in the struggling blockages or challenges or times. <laughs> Y'all laughing about the fart thing, but I'm telling you, sometimes they be lingering, bro. You can't get them out the room. <laughs> you open up the window. They still there. <laughs> You're like, God damn. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Taurus, this is your last card pool. And then we got to go to Scorpio because I'm done. Anyways, if you're in alignment, your farts don't linger, basically. <laughs> Shout out. What do we got? What do we got for Taurus? Let me get off. Let me get off this live stream because I'm getting silly now. And that's how you know when, it get, let's get, when it's getting late. You guys know. The gang knows. You guys go through this too. You know when, when it's getting late, you start getting too silly. You know it's time for bed. <laughs> it's not like you or your kids. You're like, it's time for bed. It's time to shut it down. Here we go. What do we have for Taurus gang babies and zannies? Any last closing messages for Tauruses? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Ooh. You guys get high honors. See, I told you, you're going to be successful in love. Wow. I'm shooketh. You might be shooketh. This is why you had to let go and allow your control issues to be at the wayside and not focus on the outcome of the situation, not be too focused on how things are supposed to turn out, not too focused on how the soulmate is supposed to look and breathe and speak and, you know what I'm saying? Just relax. Just a lot of things to flow. Focus on yourself and everything's going to be fine. For my Tauruses, this is your message when it comes to love and romance. For those of you who are single or in a relationship, you're fine. Relax, allow things to flow, okay? So that's what I see here for my Taurus baddies and zandies. This is going to be your message. All right, you guys, let's get into Scorpios. You're going to be just fine. I don't see nothing bad with your read. So at the end of the day, it all depends on you. That's what it sounds like, okay? It all depends on you. All right, then, let's go. Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio baddies and zandies? Drop your Scorpions down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. I'm starving, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry, you guys. I need to order my Uber Eats. I need to hurry up before they shut everything down. Because what is it? Today is Tuesday, right? Yeah. A lot of the stuff closes early. It's 9 o'clock here. Oh. You know what I want? I don't even want Uber Eats. Do y'all ever not eat dinner and you just eat ice cream before bed? I might eat some chocolate ice cream and just call it a wrap. <laughs> I'm being serious though. I'm not even trying to be funny. You said order, we can wait. You speaking for the whole gang. <laughs> That's a commitment. Whoever said that. <laughs> now everybody's gonna wait. Everybody's gonna be like, um, no. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do we have for my scorpions? Scorpio baddies and zaddies up in the building. You just Last night, you guys ate ice cream for real? You ate cereal? Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. You just like, it got too late. Screw it. I'm going to just eat a whole pint of ice cream. Like those little mini pints. Eat it to myself. Have y'all been watching? By the way, I've been, um, sidebar, we're going to segue for like five seconds. I've been watching um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Prime with Childish Gambino and the other chick. Wow. Can I just say I like that show so far? Wow. It's funny. It's crazy, too. It's not like the original Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because I watched the original the other day before I started watching the show. It's not like um, Angeline Jolie and what's his name? Brad Pitt. What's his name? Is it Brad Pitt? I don't know. Whatever his name is. It's not like that, but it's pretty good for what it is. I was impressed. I was like, ooh, we need more of this. Anyways, let's get back to the reads. Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio babies and zitties? You like cookies and cream? Shout out to the gang. Comment below what kind of ice cream y'all like. I'm curious now. 
you was wondering about that show, you should definitely watch it. Self Love Queen, you should definitely watch it. It's kind of lit. I wasn't expecting Childish Gambino to be such a good actor. He's actually really good. You love my voice? Thank you so much. Oh, pistachio. I have never had the pistachio one. Chocolate, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, cookie dough. Wow. Vanilla. Dr. Pepper ice cream. You mix it? You mix it yourself or they make it like that? Okay, y'all <laughs> y'all just putting anything in the chat. Not soda and ice cream. You talking about... I'm done with y'all. <laughs> Birthday cake for you? Mmm. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Pistachio and vanilla bean, that actually sounds lit. Dulce de leche, okay. We got that little something, something, that little spice in the chat. Dulce de leche. You said a root beer float? New York cheesecake ice cream? What? I ain't never had nothing like that. Where'd you get that from? Is that Ben and Jerry's? Uh-uh. Red velvet and cinnamon. <laughs> okay, now you put anything. Red velvet and cinnamon, and cinnamon sounds like a stretch. That's like saying raspberry oolong tea ice cream, which they probably already have, but that's like, that sounds fake. Child, pull that card. <laughs> Is that the ice cream that you eat? Child, pull that card. That sounds like a good ice cream. <laughs> Mango sorbet. Ooh. Anyways, we cleared out the energies. Let me stop messing with Scorpio. Y'all are getting anxious. What do we have? <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> For Scorpios pertaining to love and romance. <laughs> we have one card flying out, you guys. I'm done. I'm stop. I'm stop messing with y'all. Lace, that was the greatest. That was greatest for all time comment ever. Separation in the reverse. Wow. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want. So it comes to you now. For a lot of my Scorpios, wow. Okay, there's something happening here. There's some movement. There's some change. Past life relationship. You guys known each other before. Soulmate energy. Safe for you to love. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so let's get into the first card. We have separation in the reverse here. I do feel like with this energy of separation in the reverse, I do feel like there's either reconciliation here with a person that you have history with. It doesn't have to be a past person. It could just be a person in your energy who you were kind of like misunderstanding or they were misunderstanding you or the connection or something of that nature. I do feel like this is coming back into mending. For some of you guys, you were at a distance or you had no contact and this person or you have gotten back into contact. So very soon you're about to clear and decide, do you want to be with this person? or do you want to move forward okay so i'm getting two types of scorpios i'm getting some scorpios who have somebody reaching out to them that they were in separation with and whether that's physically or emotionally or communicative wise i do feel like very soon it's going to get you to be in a in a limbo position like into the thick of it like you're into the thick of a lot of your thoughts your emotions about this you're trying to reflect what did this person do or why did it end because you're like confused to why it's coming back for some of you you're solid and stable in this connection you are very sure that of your decision that you want to move forward with this so for some of you you will move forward and this past life relationship i do get is going to be some type of connection that mends the connection thank you intuitive queen so I do feel like um, there is this past life connection you feel is very on a deeper level. Like you guys known each other before. It's kind of eerie. But um, for some of you, it's that this person you literally have history with. So take it how it resonates. It could be somebody who you know for a long time. You guys separated for whatever reason. It didn't have to end bad. For some of you, it could have. But for others of you, it didn't end bad. But it's just coming back around for you to revisit and, and see if you want it or if you want to move elsewhere with uh, other connections, okay? I do feel like this person is very passionate about you. They could literally hold you like this. You see how this man is holding this woman? You could hold somebody like that or they could hold you like this. This is the feeling that you miss. You miss the passion in between the both of you. So I do feel like you're going to feel like it's safer for you to love this person. You're going to open up your heart. Um, to give to give and receive the highest love of all. So I do feel like not only are you going to open up your heart, you're going to open up your body parts, okay? It's giving that you guys are going to have hot heat at night. Thank you so much for allowing me to... Oh my gosh, thank you so much for those heart hands and the hearts. Um, thank you so much for um, allowing me to reach my goals, you guys. I got all of those hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, there is this energy of that. I do feel like it's safer for you to love here. 
okay um or you're gonna realize it's it's safer for you to make to be in this relationship than before i feel like before you guys both knew that you guys were immature you guys both knew that you guys weren't ready for commitment in your own ways you see from a higher perspective how you weren't ready even though you thought you were ready and how this person wasn't ready even though they thought they were ready it comes back into union because this is a past life connection or because this has a soul tie or soul contract to it you don't necessarily have to be with this person but you're going to give it another go to see if it works out this time so i do feel like you you like this person a lot you like the passion that you guys share um physical intimacy but also emotionally intimate is going to be different this time around because um of how long this person took to be separated from you there's no longer separation here now for others of you scorpios you are with somebody you never separated from them you are with somebody who um very soon you're going to clearly decide to um move to the next level of like your relationship whether that's taking something casual to make it committed or whether that's you're already committed and you're taking it to the next level of commitment so um maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend this person proposes to you or you propose to them whether you're married you're in already a marriage and you just decide to build on your connection in whatever way shape or form that resonates with you i do feel like it's building here there's some type of building to the next level that you're already in a connection with somebody right now scorpios um if this isn't the case if this is not how you feel this is how this person feels about you you may not know they have not expressed this to you but they about to because look at the way this person's caressing this person they might whisper it into you like that who that he is okay or you might be whispering into somebody else's ear i don't know but you're whispering sweet somethings because it's grabbing somebody's attention here and it does make this person or you feel safer in the connection to love okay so you guys might be going on the horse together and galloping off into the sunset type energy okay for some of you guys you lived on a farm or you had horses for others of you um i do feel as though that's like a literal reference, like someone either dealt with horse, horses, lived on a farm, was an equestrian, or did horseback riding with this person, or that they, they will. Okay, so I do see that here. I always see this card. I've never said that. So just FYI, like that's my first time feeling that connection from here. I do get wedding here. The situation involves marriage. So with this card, it involves a reconciliation of some sort that's committed. So this is talking about commitments. You could have... Um, you could currently be married to this person or you could currently be a boyfriend and girlfriend or that this is the next level that this person wants to offer you. This is what they're whispering. They're like, <laughs> I'm going to stop being funny. They, they're like in your ear though, like this. And what they're whispering is their cup of love to have serious commitment. I almost said something so stupid and funny. I'm done with being funny tonight. I'm going to get off the live stream and stop wasting y'all time. All right, sir. This is what I see, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Like I said, it didn't have to break up bad for those of you who broke up or separated from this person. Even if it did, you guys just weren't ready for commitment in your own perspective ways. And spirit is showing you that, that somebody went through their healing work and you did too. And you guys are actually going to get back together. For those of you who don't want this connection, it's fine. You don't have to. You could just find your love and your blessings elsewhere. But um, I do feel like this person healed. I do feel like this person is very much uh, serious because this separation, they made a decision to come back, not with an unrequited um, offer. They came back because they have a soul tie to you and they know that you're, you're their person and they're yours. And they're not going to F it up this time if they did. For some of you guys, uh, they were immature or they just didn't know what they wanted in commitments and it could have hurt you very, very bad. You're going to find your blessings elsewhere. For others of you, you're going to you're going to be fine taking this back. And I never say that in a read. For some of you, I'm I'm shook that I'm saying that in a read because usually I'm like, you need to move on. Yeah, it's not that energy. So let's get some additional messages here. See, I told you distance, you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant yeah you guys were like this in the past or you could be distant in miles this person is coming towards you they're gonna show their cup of love they're serious they're very serious i do feel like you still think about the toxicity between the two of you but they're super serious so if you want it you can have it all right you guys could be moving in together you guys are rekindling the flame or moving in together change of residence moving in with your partner like i said this person is moving at a distance this could be both of you guys moving uh your differences and leaving the past in the past in order to move together um in the near future to your own home an apartment a condo whatever place you call home maybe moving city to city state to state or if it's a few miles up the road then it is but there is this reconciliation happening it's a solid foundation i never say this but wow 
I'm shook. I'm like, wow, somebody actually worked out a reconciliation for once because I only get stuff that's bad. It's not bad. I'm not mad at it. All right. Here we go. Melissa, not Melissa saying this is so spot on. You want to throw up. Oh, my God. I've never heard that comment before. You okay? I hope you're going to be all right. All right. So I do see that here. Yeah, this person is showing up mature. See, I told you. <laughs> I just thought about Chip because this is the cup that I have from Beauty and the Beast. And he's like, see, I told you. <laughs> That's my inner child coming out. I'm such a goof. But um, yeah, see, I told you guys, this person is coming up more mature, whether they're male or female. I don't read genders on the cards. I just read energies. So this person is coming up way more mature, way more sure of what they want. They're definitely older now, five, maybe five years older from the last time they dated you or um, they're just more mature in energy if it's not in age, okay? I also get that you could be, that five years have gone. So you could be five years uh, older than you were when you, when you first started dating this person. There's like one to five years that went by that really allowed you guys to be in separation for a reason in order to be solid, committal people in the future. Wow. Like I said, this person is traveling towards you or you guys are traveling together. You guys are going to create a solid foundation with this moving in card. Okay. See what I mean with the map there next to that guy? And then the distance. And then also the card that fell is, um, yeah, is divinely guided for you guys to go, for you guys to have gone your separate ways and come back into union. For some of you guys, you never went separate ways. You're with this person still. There's going to be a mature level of unlocking after some toxicity or after some toxic traits discussed. So you could have felt emotionally or physically distant from the person. But what happens is you guys work out your differences. I'm shook. I'm actually shocked. Someone leveled up or someone is bucking up. Someone is re ready for commitment. Someone knows what it is that they want. Finally, shoot, not after all these reads. Journey. Yeah, somebody had to go on a long journey, probably away from y'all connection or a long journey to find themselves. They found themselves. They know what they want. They didn't they didn't forget. They went through some stuff. You could have been expecting this person to come back. You don't necessarily have to. You could have expected this person to come back and you were waiting there forever. So you moved on with your life and you realize they come back when you're not looking out the window. Because for the, for a lot of you guys, male or female, this is you on the card. and You are looking out the window for this person to come back. And this person wasn't coming back in the time frame because they still needed to heal or there was still separation that was needed to be had because divine energy was orchestrating separation because they know you're supposed to be together, but you came together at the wrong time. And so... Spirit is saying once you walk up, once you once you stand up and walk away from that window, that's when ding dong, somebody's at your door. You know what I'm saying? And not literally, but like that's when I say like this person comes back into your life way more mature and ready to go. So it's when you're not looking for this outcome is when it comes. Divine timing is at work here. Very beautiful. This person, they definitely fix themselves. They definitely did something. Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed. You might be impressed. When this person comes through, you're going to be like, they not only look different, they smell different. There's something different about their energy. They definitely not playing no games. I know that's right. Finally, I get that some of y'all are like, finally. <clears throat> yeah, they, they healed their shadow side. Yeah, exactly. You made me realize my flaws. This is why they come back like this. Because they had to have separate life experiences away from you in order for them to realize their flaws. No matter who they had interaction with, no matter what other relationships they had, no matter if they were single the whole time, you made them realize something about themselves that shined a light onto their dark side or to their shadow side or their side that wasn't ready for commitment. And they ran away from the connection. They ran away from the connection because you were so real that you shine a light on a part of themselves that they couldn't see. That you, when you planted that seed or you shined that light, they went off into the distance on this journey to self-discovery. And that energy stayed with them. And they realized that and they come back. They come back. Wow. So they haven't told you everything. They have a lot of secrets to reveal, of things that happened in the past between the two of you or with them. 
they probably went through a lot they probably experienced a lot so open up that if you want if you want them back open up that lane for them to communicate all right and they know that you're irreplaceable the way you love can never be matched. That's what they learned on their journey in separation because all they ran into was people who were deceptive, people who things ended with because they realized something about themselves was holding this energy. So the energy that they were vibrating at is the energy they attracted. That's why it didn't work out with you guys at the time you guys met. That's what had to end was their ego death, their shadow. That had to end. The relationships with distractions or flirtationships or whatever had to end. This is what this person realized on their journey is that the way you love can never be matched and they want to offer you love and relationships here. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. We have the wedding card here twice. Wedding card here twice. I'm telling you, this person is coming back with a solid offer. They're not playing this time. So don't treat them like the past person they were because they're brand new. It's like they got baptized and came back. Child, I don't know what happened. But somebody, something happened. We got the commitment. So they want to offer you a solid commitment. It is safe for you to love here. However, it is your choice. You do have free will. You do not have to open up your heart and give and receive the highest love of all if you don't want this past person. But this past person is coming with a solid offer. Ashe. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody come back correct. If you want to come, come correct. Because I'm tired of that. Not them not coming back correct in every reading. That's all I read. This is beautiful. Whatever they did to unlock this, they ascended to a higher level of freaking awakening. Spiritual awakening is what happened here. Beautiful energy. This is for the Scorpio, Baddies, and Thaddies. Something rising or Venus placement. Or you can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart and still resonate. Let's say. Wow, bottom of the deck. See, I told you this is an abundant new opportunity coming towards you. This might be your challenge, Scorpio, is to accept this person back. Because you're you're afraid it's not this, but it is this. Spirit is giving you double confirmation, triple confirmation. And spirit said it's up to you. Wow. Wow. I literally just said, you have free will. You don't have to. It's safe for you to love here, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I literally just said that. As they say, it's up to you. I knew I was on point. This is why I need the cards, okay? You feel as though it's not the right time right now for this opportunity. But Spirit is saying, it's, it is up to you. It is up to you. You're doubting it. Like I said, that's a doubt coming in. Oh my God, this is wild. I ain't ever seen a read like this. This is nice. It's refreshing for once. All right, so this is going to be a read, Scorpios. Anyways, I ain't going to hold you. But um, thank you so much for being here and for tapping in to Oracle Gang Betty. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for liking the live stream and also sharing it up. We have 215 shares and 216 likes, you guys. If this is where you depart, make sure you're following me here at Oracle Gang Betty on TikTok. All right, so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. We'll be back here tonight for the love readings. So make sure you're following me so you, so you can come into the room early. All right. Also, I am offering love readings. I'm offering love readings for $50 for a 30-minute love reading on my site at oraclegangbaddy.com. Oraclegangbaddy.com is the only way to book with me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And we're going to move on to Cancer Babies and Zaddies up in the building. We're going to move on to Cancers. So what do we have here for Cancers Energy? I'm going to clear out the energies. Drop your crabs in the chat. Eww, I see everybody. <laughs> That's cute. All right, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have for my cancers? My cancers. Oh, thank you so much. I see all the crabs in the chat. I'm going to actually put my iPad on the charger so I can see you guys' messages. One second. I have to adjust this. My ghetto charger. I have it taped in so many different places. I need to get a new one. But them Apple chargers are expensive. You feel me? So if I could tape it up and it still works, I'm going to use it till the end of time. <laughs> I'm cheap. We ready. We be vibing. I know that's right. Cancers are ready for the read. Let's get into Cancer's energy 
Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Source Creator, for all the messages that are deemed worthy for the highest good. Anything that they need to know at this time that keeps them motivated, inspired when it comes to love and relationships, any healing, any resentment held in their heart, let them accept this and be able to release this and be guided into the right direction. Thank you, Source Creator, for all that you do for me and the connection on it. Me and the relationship to my gang on a daily. For I'm nothing without it. I'm everything with you. So glory be to the most high forever and ever. Please remove any low vibrational negative energies or thoughts or opinions from the chat. For they are not welcomed here and they are commanded to leave by my heart forces of love and light out. Ashe. So it is. Thank you, Source Creator, for all that you do for me and the collective on a daily. For I'm nothing without it. I'm everything with you. So glory be to the most high forever and ever and ever. Ashe. Thank you, Source. All right. So what do we have here for my... Cancer babies and zannies up in the building. What do we have for my cancer babies and zannies up in the building? Put it around me. All right, we gotta keep this this space cleansed. Okay. Here we go. You have new stickers. You see them? Yeah, you guys have new stickers. <laughs> it's the Valentine's Day stickers. You gotta check them out, you guys. You gotta be TikTok subscribers to send them. They're oh, they're my OG emojis. <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah, definitely got a whole bunch of new stickers. You got angel numbers too. All right, so let's see. What do we have for my Cancer Babies and Zeddies? We're about to do your reading and we tapped into your energy. So let's just get started. Here we go. What do we have for my Cancer Babies and Zeddies when it comes to the relationships closest to them romantically? Singles or those in a relationship? What are the messages deemed worthy for the highest good? I say, and so it is. Thank you, Source. What do we have for my. Wow. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have love yourself. Let go of control issues. There's something worth waiting for. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's a lot of information coming out here for my cancer. So take it how it resonates. Leave the rest. Not everything's going to be your message. I'm going to run that disclaimer right now because I ain't got no time to be arguing with nobody in the chat. <laughs> but I love you guys. So here we go. 24 to 40 hours uh, for the YouTube. It, it's uploaded in 24 hours. All right, so here you go. We have um, love yourself first. Your self-love and respect makes you more romantically attractive. I do feel like you're going to be feeling more romantically attractive or you're going to feel more positive within yourself. Hold on, you guys. Let me actually plug in my charger. I just realized it's not plugged in. I don't want to lose you guys in the chat. All right, so here we go. So we have love yourself first. Okay, you guys, your self-love and respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, let go of control issues. Okay, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I do feel like with this situation um, that you could be in for my cancers who are in a relationship, I do feel like you're being guided to let go of anything that you feel as though you're kind of trying to make out work in your work in your favor spirit is saying you don't have to try for things to work out in your favor they either work or they don't and it's really it's really the way it's supposed to be okay so allow yourself to let go of the fixation on this control issue for some of you guys you're trying to control an outcome of a situation in love or if somebody's going to love you back or something like that um this could be also in family member or friendship uh connections because i do see healing family issues here so you could be healing um issues in a group of friend or family member dynamics if it's not a group of people then it's just a specific family member or a friend all right um singular right but regardless, I do feel like you have to put yourself first. I really do feel like this. For some of my cancers, you really need to hear you need to put yourself first in a situation. For some of you guys, you're not happy in a relationship. Um, you need to put yourself first. For others of you, you're happy in a connection, but you're being guided to put yourself first because this is what romantically brought the connection together is that you took care of yourself or you did things for yourself and you allowed things to unfold naturally in the connection without having to take too much um Without having to do too much, you, like you don't have to tell somebody what to do. They're going to do it type energy, if that makes sense. So um, this is worth waiting for. You do have divine timing at, in your love life. I do feel like for my singles, you love yourself first so much or you're in the self-love, self-care energy that you allow things to unfold in your life. You, there could be people who are attracted to you, but you're a little bit timid to give them a chance. For my single cancers, I do feel like what's worth waiting for is definitely something that pertains to um, a new relationship after you embark on some type of um, healing from the past. You're kind of like timid or shy. I don't know if you're timid or shy or just um, insecure about what offers other people have for you, but I do see this here. 
I see that um, you guys could feel as though you may not be able to forgive the past or um, family members for making you feel bad because you're single, you don't have kids yet, or for friends hockey king and like being like, remember that time you dated so and so? Like, oh man, that was terrible. And just reminding you of like old memories. Like, I don't know what it is that you have to release when it comes to this group of people or a person closest to you, but free yourself from that. For some of you, it's a romantic partner of the past that you need to release emotional baggage to. It's time to release those emotions from your mind to your heart. I do feel like that could be an issue here and kind of and kind of holding you back from new love for some of my single cancers. For others of you, I do feel like you're in a relationship and you're being guided to let go of the connection and love yourself first because what's worth waiting for is the healing between you and your, your family. Because your family is falling apart or your family has fell apart because um, you were trying to control what was happening in a love situation between you and your spouse or you and the person who you're dating. And so so a lot of your family have noticed that you lost yourself and they want you to free yourself, okay? They don't want you to lose yourself in feeling like you have to um in feeling like you have to cater to somebody or or be controlling of a situation. Like spirit knows you love this person so much, but they're saying it's breaking your family apart. So you're going to have to choose between your romantic partner and your family. For some of you guys, you're going to free yourself from a toxic way of thinking or emotional um, emotional offset. Because you, you have values that are supposed to be in alignment with you, but they, they're kind of off kilter or, or offset from you from you. Okay. They're 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 imbalanced. Your your thoughts and your emotions are imbalanced to what is actually best for you when it comes to love and romance. So Spirit is trying to guide me to tell you guys to get back into balance. The only way to do that is with self-love and self-care. Do things that make you happy. Don't worry about this other person or remove yourself from this person physically or emotionally. This person could be a past person or a person in your present energy, but it's breaking your family apart or it's making it difficult or your family's tired of hearing about it. So there is this energy of that. So you're being guided to like literally let go. And this is your double confirmation. For some of you guys, you're afraid to let go because you don't know what's on the other side. And Spirit is saying it's time to let go. Wow, this was on the bottom of the deck. I didn't even know this was here. It says, give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. I'm not even going to shuffle the deck because like it was almost it was almost meant for me to hold that up because we have let go here and then we have let go here. Let things flow. So I do feel that energy. With that being said, I'm going to get my Crystal Inspiration Oracle deck. I do feel like your spirit guides are guiding you or your or a past loved one is trying to guide you into a new direction when it comes to romance, but you're resisting change. And so you've resisted long enough. And so spirit is saying, can we please move on from this, whatever this is, emotionally or physically tied to you? It's holding you down from abundance. It's holding you down from healing. It's breaking the family apart or breaking friends apart or something that means something to you. That means more to you than holding a toxic connection, okay? Or a toxic idea of love. Because for some of you, you're single. And it's the idea that love isn't for you. So because you are miserable, you're not really happy for anybody else's beautiful relationships or connections. So spirit is lit, telling you to let go of that part for a lot of you guys this let go energy and go with the flow energy is going to be different for each one of you guys whether you're single or in a relationship okay that's what i see here all right what do we have here for my cancer ladies and ladies what do we have here for my cancers what is the advice additional advice to this um message what do we have here what do we have here for my kiss of babies and babies? What is the advice? Learning how to accept and heal is big, big per, big per energy, okay? We have rose quartz, open up your heart and soothe your soul. It's in the reverse. These are both coming in the reverse, by the way. I flipped it over so I could show you what this heart rose quartz crystal said. But it both came out like this. For some of you guys, you need to soothe your soul or heal your heart. Open up your heart. Okay, because you're holding resentment in your heart. You're holding hate in your heart in some form or fashion. You might be like, I don't hate nobody, but you strongly dislike them. I don't strongly dislike somebody, but you don't talk to them. You feel hurt by them some way. So you, hurt can be on a, a, a surface level or a deeper level. But regardless, there's hurt here. 
So it's about healing this in your heart space because you're not going to have love if you don't. And we have soothe your soul. You're not going to have peace if you don't. Peace in your mind, your body, your soul. Okay? For some of you guys, this has to do with family or family members. It has to do with a boy or a girl. I'm seeing boy-girl energy with the pink and the blue. So I don't know if somebody was... Um, if there was infidelity in a connection here that created family issues. Somebody maybe got somebody else pregnant, had a boy or had a girl. Um, if this has nothing to do with that, this has everything to do with your kids, your girls, your boys, your family dynamic. Um, it's causing problems with the children because, and they could be acting out in school or in real life for those of you who are parents and who have younger kids. They could be acting out because there's some type of control issue that you energetically, um, energetically kind of display and your kids are picking up on it. So instead of them loving themselves first, they're 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 picking up on not able to let let go of control, and they might be trying to control other kids at school, or trying to control the teacher, or trying to control getting their way and manipulative. They could be lying to you, or like anything like that. So pick up on those traits because those are traits that you are kind of like um, showing, and they're picking up on by just nature because kids are sensitive to energies. You have to remember, children pick up on energies that we don't see and we don't feel. This is why we had so much connection to earth and to spirit and to energies when we were younger, whether we realize that or not. As we get older, that starts to fade, but in their, in their few impressionable years, they're picking up on this. So you can free yourself from this and your family from this if you just love on yourself or work on yourself or know what it is that you need to do. For those of you who have kids, not everybody has kids, but I had to put that out there. Okay, so that's what I see here. That's what the 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 um, energy, divine energy is telling me right now. And they're saying ignite your passions. For some of you guys, you're so focused on love that you're not focused on your career, your aspirations, your relationship with money. They're saying ignite your passion within yourself. What is it that you want to do that's going to make you happy and get you out of this unrequited situation in love or these situation, these drum, dramatic or situationships type energy, okay? Very interesting. Um, recall your dreams. You could be getting messages in your dreams, Um these could be from past loved ones. These could be from versions of yourself in the dream. You could be uh, you could be having very interesting dreams lately. If this isn't dreams, this is your intuition. Your intuition could be going off a lot. Um, so anything that you're being guided to do or a direction you're being guided to go, you may be getting the sign to get on this path and get laser focused or get on this path and create change for yourself in romance or relationships. Okay. So let's get some more messages for my uh, Cancer Babies and Zaddies. Any other storylines or things that we have here for my Cancers pertaining to love and romance, the relationship closest to them? What else do you have here coming out? Let's say, what do we have here for Cancer Babies and Zaddies up in the building? What do we have here for my Cancers? For some of y'all, y'all are praying a lot or y'all going to church a lot. Um, I just heard like gospel music or something of that nature. You're trying to listen to more positive music. If it's not church or gospel, it's definitely positive music instead of radio music. Um, we have narcissist and intuition. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a narcissist or you know that there's a narcissist in your midst that you need to remove yourself from. Someone is too full of themselves. They have ego, pride, stubbornness. Your intuition is telling you that this is a red flag and it could come back to bite you later if you don't make decisions soon um, to remove yourself or to remove your emotional baggage. If it's just you're emotionally tied to this person, then spirit is saying heal because then you won't be able to be happy in new love, okay? You'll hold this resentment forever. You always stalk this person or look at their social media forever and make you sad. Um, now, if this is physical, I do feel like physically you need to remove yourself from the situation. This is the free yourself coming in. So it's either emotional or physical. <sighs> this feels heavy. All right, so what do we got here? Open up your heart. Yeah, that was that same energy with this heart space. Open up your heart is here twice in two different oracle decks. Just mind you. So this is double confirmation for those of you who need it, whether you're single or in a relationship. I do feel like you're being guided to open up your heart when it comes to love and romance. For some of you guys want to embark on new love after having some type of 
issue or drama, you can open up to new love. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why you feel guilty for that. Or maybe someone's trying to guilt you into that. That could be like the narcissist. They're trying to guilt you into being like, well, you moved on too quick. There is no too quick. There is no too slow. It's like whatever the divine brings in and whatever I want to embark on is what happens. So there could be somebody who, if you're not the controlling one, somebody was trying to control you. Someone was the narcissist. If it wasn't you, it was the person trying to control you. If you're a parent, the kids picked up on it. But if you're not a parent, this person, they they definitely uh, did this in front of family or friends. And your family and friends are like, yo, it's either us or this person. This is a red flag. And we can't support you being in this person, being in, being in, being with this person in this person's life. So they may have separated from you, your family or your friends. And it's up to you to free yourself now. They left you alone. So spirit saying, open up your heart. What it is that you want in your heart for yourself? Self-love, self-care. Because something here is telling me that somebody is using somebody else for money. Or somebody else is using somebody else for coin. Or intimacy. Or whatever this is. Not going to be for all. But definitely for those who need to hear it. Let's get some more messages. Any other additional messages for Cancer, Babies, and Zanies? For those who can resonate with a different storyline or the same one, please show me what it is that they need to know at this time. Any advice? Thank you, Spirit Ashe. What do we have here for my Cancer? Cancer, Babies, and Zanies. What do we have here in Love and Romance? Oh, wow. This is good. I like this. So we have whatever relationship that you're in or that you were in, because you open up your heart, and you heal your heart from anything that was happening or your emotions, you do get a new relationship. It's very much protected. I do feel as though you may be worried about this loss in the past relationship. And in the back of your mind, you're kind of like, in the back of your mind, this new love or new connection that you have, this might haunt you. Like, oh, I got left behind or I was lost or, you know, I... um. I lost out or I missed out on this connection. You didn't miss out on anything. This connection was falling. This connection was failing. This connection was burning up in flames. And you were the one trying to make it last. Or this person was manipulating you into making it last. This narcissist energy. So spirit is saying, put yourself first and get into this relationship with yourself and then following that you'll find a relationship that matches your love for yourself this is how someone else is going to treat you they're going to treat you way better than what you thought you lost so this is your message for those of you who are dealing with this right now or for those of you who are walking away from something or for those of you who already did this you already walked away from something you have a new love here but the challenge is it's you okay you have to work hard on yourself or you're working hard, you're trying to get more money or you're trying to move out or you're trying to move on. Whatever this is emotionally or physically or tied to coin physically or energy, um, you're making this decision or you're being guide to, guided to make this decision by your guides. They're really trying to get you to move forward and work on yourself, but not only work on yourself, but also focus on what it is that ignites your passions and what makes you happy in career finances, your relationship to money. Okay, so I'm seeing that here. And on top of that, you know what's after working hard on yourself and working towards something amazing for yourself is the gift from the universe. Beautiful energy. You can get through it. You can get. You can get through this this year if you wanted to, Spirit is saying, because I'm showing you the 17 here and it's the eight. It's the eight. And as I'm seeing that, I'm seeing three, three, three. So that's the nine. So for some of you, your angel number is eight. For others of you, it's nine. For some of you, you've been seeing 10, 10 a lot. So eight, nine and 10. Eight is the harvest. But it requires you to take the step towards it to create an ending for a new beginning. Eight is the harvest. Nine is the step before the 10. The 10 is the ending. And the 11 is the new beginning. You see how that makes sense? It's the level up that you give yourself by taking action emotionally or physically. To open up your heart to know what it is that you want. 
This is my message for those who are single or in a relationship that's unrequited and not working out. If you're in a happy relationship, this does not apply to you. Because what I'm hearing and seeing right now is those people who need this message. Okay, so what's the advice to the situation? What's the advice for my Cancer babies and Sandies? Before we close this out, what's their advice? I'm going to get the letters too so we can confirm who you could be possibly dealing with. Because I know y'all like the letters and y'all waited for so long and I appreciate y'all. What do we have here? We have listen to your intuition. For a lot of my cancers, your intuition is going off. I'm telling you guys, you have the best intuition out of all the zodiac signs. You guys already know. You guys already know what it is that you need to do, but you're afraid to take the steps. You're, this is your advice. This is what Spirit said. I asked, give us another answer. They said, listen to you, the Cancer. Tell them, tell Cancer they need to listen to their intuition and choose a new direction. Wow. This is the card that flew out. This is the card at the bottom. Choose a new direction and listen to your intuition because Spirit has a divine gift for you on the other side of that, but you got to give it to yourself first. The gift chose you, but you got to choose it back. It's like someone handing you a Christmas gift and you're like, I don't want it. Like, what? What do you mean? This is a gift. Choose it back. Open it up. Spirit is trying to give you this, but you're resisting change because you don't know what's on the other side of change. You need to communicate clearly what it is that you want to yourself to the divine and to the other people involved in order to have a prosperous new direction. You got to be real with yourself and others. That's what it's giving. So communicate clearly and listen to your intuition and choose that new direction. You know you want to do it. So just do it. That's it. So much easier said than done. But I promise you, after you take those first steps, you're going to be like, why was I even taking so long? Why? Why did I even do that? You're going to be asking yourself these questions. You've done it before with other things, big and small. You've done it before. You're like, why was I even tripping over that? Because of fear and you're making fear real. Fear is fake. Fear is not real. It's false evidence appearing real, but it's not real. Don't play yourself out of your own position, especially out of your own intuition. Don't play yourself out of your own intuition. That's what I'm seeing here. Whoa, this is wild. The, the I grabbed a bunch of these uh, letters. Some of them fell on the floor. Hold on one second. I got to pick up a letter. I think it fell on the floor. Yeah. There we go. Okay. For some of you guys, whoa. This is crazy. We have, remember I told you how your angel number is eight and nine? We have the eight. And we have the nine. Wow. <laughs> That's your angel number. Let's see what the letters are here. For some of you guys, this is going to be the letter of the person that you're trying to get over or the person that you're currently dealing with that you need to remove yourself from. We have a J, which also has an 8. You see that 8 there? And we have the 8 coming out. So that's double confirmation. We have a J. It's going to be their first name initial, middle name initial, or last name initial. This is going to be the first letter of the first middle or last name initial. We have a J. It's the other person that you're either emotionally still attached to that you have to let go of that you have emotional baggage to or that you're physically still attached to, whether it's present or past energy. There's an M, first, middle, or last name initial. I did mention we saw 333, three, three, and I said, oh, that equals a 9. We have 333. Three, three. So we have the 8, we have the 3. So far, we have the angel numbers that I've seen. We have a V, first, middle, or last name initial. We have an R, first, middle, or last name initial. K, you already know the deal. We have two R's. Someone can have two R's as their initials in their name, first or last name, or first or middle name, or middle name or last name, or they could have two R's in their name. For example, um, Veronica, or no, Veronica, but they spell it with two R's instead, like something like that. We have an E, first, middle, or last name initial, okay? So for a lot of you guys, this is gonna resonate Wow. This is going to resonate. So 
you guys could have been together since 98 or 89. The year 89 or 98 could have been significant to you. For some of you guys, you've been together for eight to nine years. For others of you, you've been going through trials and tribulations for the last nine, eight to nine months. This is what I'm saying. This energy is for you. So whoever is a cancer who needed this extra message for liberation, for freedom, for love, self-love, self-healing, for intuition, for choosing a new direction and communicating what it is that they want to the universe, God, their angels, their ancestors, so they can get it back times 10, tenfold. And the gift that the universe, God, angels, and ancestors have for them, this is your message. So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to my reading. This is Oracle Gang Daddy up in the building. All right, you guys, if you like these readings, if you want to see more readings like this, definitely give me a follow here at Oracle Gang Daddy. So that way you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. I do the career readings at 9 a.m., which will be tomorrow. And I also do the love readings at 6 p.m., which is also tomorrow. This is going to be West Coast time. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate your time, energy, your coins. <laughs> thank you for sending me gifts. Thank you so much for running up those shares. 231 shares and 231K likes. I never had the shares and the likes match at the end of the read. That's pretty cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Everybody give the best thank you to V. V Castro is my moderator. She don't got to do this. And she do this on a daily. So please thank her for keeping us on track. And for answering y'all questions when I miss them because the chat goes so quick. So I appreciate y'all. The replay will be posted to my YouTube at Oracle Gang Baddie. The same way it's spelled here is the same way it's spelled over there. So definitely subscribe. Um, I always post all the readings and all the recaps there. And the timestamps to each one of your zodiac signs so you can just jump straight to your read is in the comment section of the YouTube video. So thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all the bestest. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I also have those love readings on sale. So those are only from now until Valentine's Day. 30-minute love readings for $50 at oraclegangbaddy.com if you're wondering how to purchase. All right? So thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really sleepy. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to get some food and go to bed or eat some ice cream. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peace, love. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.